And welcome to the Kirkland Family Soccer Complex. Broken Arrow Soccer hosting the Stillwater Pioneers. Broken Arrow comes into the contest with an 8-3 and three mark, 2-2 two and two in the district. Stillwater 7-4, and 2-2 two and two in the district. Broken Arrow is also fourth place in District 6A3 standings. And Stillwater is in fifth in the 6A3 standings. Dan Hawk alongside JoJo David for this soccer matchup. With both of these teams squaring off, only one remaining home game. That will be on Friday. It will be Senior Day with Ponca City. As you can tell, I've lost my voice, so it's going to be a fun night of soccer on the pitch. But we'll have a ton of fun with JoJo David as well. Right now, the starting lineups are being announced. We'll take it field level for those starting lineups. Number eight, Morgan Miller. Number nine, Landry Alley. Number 10, Carmen Blake. Number 13, Sophia Johanna Shahi. Number 14, Peyton Sinclair. Number 16, Molly Wilson. Number 17, Mason Streeter. Number 32, Madeline Aguiar. Now for the starting lineup of the Broken Arrow Tigers. Number one, Jalen Hammond. Number two, Addison Castleberry. Number four, Nicole Martin. Number seven, Evan Shaw. Number eight, Bailey Martin. Number ten, Alexis Morales. Number fifteen, Haley Hemphrey. Number 16, Hannah Anderson. Number 18, Jillian Howe. Number 21, Brooke Dodd. And number 23, Bianca Lopez. Now at this time, we ask you to stand and remove your hats and that all veterans and current military men and women in or out of uniform salute the flag of the United States for our national anthem. So the starting lineups are set for both of these teams. Like we said, a lot at stake this evening. Only this game and one other game for Broken Arrow until the playoffs begin. They approximately get three goals a game. They've only given up about one goal a game. For Stillwater, they get two goals a game, and they give up about one and a half goals a game as well. So kind of evenly matched between both of these teams, obviously, Broken Arrow has the one win advantage with an 8-3 and three mark. Stillwater with a 7-4 and four mark. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Ascents in St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU, Federal Credit Union, The Error Group, and Quick Trip. Also want to thank Tiger Threads. They're located at northeast corner of the new event center in the south end zone at Tiger Stadium. It's your go-to for all of your Tiger gear, hats, T-shirts, sweaters, stickers, you name it. They're open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The address is 2200 
North 23rd Street, Suite 161. And don't forget, if you're a Broken Arrow Public School staff member, you can also enjoy additional discounts as well. JoJo David, along myself, Dan Hawk, we've got soccer and plenty of action coming here from Kirkland Family Soccer Complex this evening. JoJo, what do you want to see out of the Tigers in this first half of play against the Pioneers? Oh, honestly, Dan, it's just stay strong. I mean, I mean, we can compare records, you can compare whatever you want, but the game of soccer can go one way or the other way. So hopefully tonight, or this, you know, if you're going to cut tonight, evening, whatever you want to call it, hopefully that can get stayed towards the Tigers. We have a great lineup out there to start us off today. And, I mean, obviously you could say that, you know, Stillwater's not competition, Pocket is not competition, like these next week of games, but always play it like it's a playoff game. Have that mentality set and ready because next week is playoff time. Yeah, playoffs are right around the corner. Broken Arrow, we're in the... Black tops, black bottom, still water wear, and the all blue as well. Perfect night for soccer, obviously a little windy. But before we get the action going, JoJo participated in a cheer competition as well. If you don't know, JoJo David is our senior class president this year. He's involved with the Jungle Squad, played some football as well. The man can do it all. What happened this uh, morning for you in cheer competition? Uh, I got to go to the beautiful OBU Oklahoma Baptist University in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Bison. Yeah, I will say it was a lengthy drive. I did not think it was going to be that much, <laughs> but on that bus it was very boring and tiring, but we went down for a stunt state season for the girls, and we, we were over there supporting. You know, it's obviously the guys we can't really participate much right. in it, but, you know, as part of the team, we have to support one each other. So we were there. Um, we ended up losing the first game. But, you know, obviously a great season. We ended up finishing the season as national champs in medium varsity co-ed game day at Florida. So I think we capped it off with a great season. And I want to get my ring before graduation just so whenever I talk on my speed, I can be like, you know, use my hand. You, you know, can ball out with that flex, ring. Flex yeah. the ring a little flex bit. Flex it. I get yeah. you. There's but nothing wrong with flexing. Exactly. I don't know if she's going to be here in time. So that kind of sucks. But, yeah, so that's what I was up to. I, I thought I was going to be late to this stream today. But, luckily, I made it right in the nick of time. Got home. Got to clean up all, the, all these good things. And now I'm here. Well, we appreciate you being along for the ride all season long. I especially appreciate having you in the booth with me. And uh, it's going to be sad to see you graduating in May and also a happy time as well because I know you're going to have fun with your senior speech that you've had written for a while, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir, I have. And then after that, we are off to the University of Oklahoma. Boomer Sooner, there's only one. There's only one. You gotta. You just got to throw that out there for the Cowboy fans in here. Right? I have to. You know, we're in the state of Oklahoma. Just got to let it make it. Just got to make it known. But, you know, it's well, been I, will, I will leave you with this. They won Bedlam the last time. So, okay. you know. It doesn't really matter. Well, that's the record, like, 93. And 93. Uh, oh, there it is. And, and I myself have no fight, dog fight, because I went to Boise State. So, was, you know, the real reality is real men play in a blue field. So. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's beautiful weather out here. 80, it is. 83 degrees, a little bit of wind. It's very hot. I was sweating on that bus. Hope that won't be sweating in this booth. But it has been a full day of soccer for all my soccer fans out there. We just got back watching two huge Champion League quarterfinals games with Barcelona playing against, um, I forgot the team, PSG. Yeah, PSG. PSG got the win. Um, sadly, refs rigged the game for them. But, you know, it's okay. Um, and then, obviously, we had the other game. We had Borussia Dortmund play against Atletico Madrid. Dortmund came out with that one. So those two move on to the semis. So a lot a lot of soccer going on. You know, tonight we got some playing basketball going on. And then, obviously, we're here for this pitch for this right. awesome Tiger. We'll have the boys with Stillwater, Broken Arrow, 5-0 and in district, 12-1 and overall. Stillwater, 6-5, and 2-2. Two and two. But regardless of Stillwater's record, it's kind of like what you said at the pregame, uh, finish here at home. So... We are underway at Kirkland, only a minute into the contest, and Stillwater boots it towards the midfield, and Broken Arrow takes over. A little bit of a handball right there by Martin, but they're going to let it slide. I will say we are a minute in, and Dan's voice is already cracking. <laughs> you know, he, he said it earlier, his voice is a little hurt, so I'm going to be the the main man today, it's, it feels like, so, you know. Nothing wrong with that. Sorry for you viewers that I have to deal with that, but, you know, I'll try to do my best. Um, and Dan will as well, you know, with the, with the messed up voice. Tigers will throw it in. It's Henfrey. Morales going to give it back to Henfrey. Henfrey's just going to look for that opening really quick, honestly. Just get just get a fast and quick start. You know, keep that momentum. You know, Tigers do a really good job offensively starting off these first five, ten minutes. Keeping everything on this side. Kind of just keep parlaying that message. Keep having it happen. Keep it going through this whole game and just keep riding that wave. I, th I think we can definitely do it. I mean, 
Obviously, the Tigers have. I think we're a much deeper team than this Pioneer team right here. So I think if we just keep playing that way with that mentality, we can get, come out with a win and also with a lot of offense and momentum going into Friday for senior night. And obviously some other games are in action as well. Already two scores, Deer Creek and Eisenhower. Deer Creek one nothing over Eisenhower. Mustang on top of the Capitol Hill one nothing as well. That's the only two games that are with scores on the board so far. So we'll keep you updated with the course of the night on the ladies' side and followed by the boys later this evening. Cool story about Deer Creek. Um, yesterday at OBU, we were not there yesterday. We were there today. Right. Yesterday, Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton were at the um, at State watching. I think it was their daughter who goes to Deer Creek. you got to be kidding me. She, was, she is a cheerleader, so she was competing in Stunt State. And we saw her story, and we were like, bruh. If we were here yesterday, we could have seen Gwed Stefani and Blake Shelton. But, you know, we did it, so that was just a cool... Can you sing as well, JoJo? No, I can't. You know, if I'm being honest with you, I can't name a single song from Gwed Stefani or Blake Shelton. But, but you, know. you could have given a demo tape of Charlie Baker, mm. and we could have got our, our, our <laughs> guy hooked up. Charlie, I'm so sorry. I, I wish Missed we chances yesterday. right here, JoJo. We weren't, you weren't there yesterday. I was hoping she was there today, but... We do need some bumper music of Charlie Baker when he scores a goal tonight. Oh, 100%. Can go, go oh, for that. Crossing ankles right there by Castleberry. Goodness gracious. Her ankles are here, there, and everywhere. Shout out Dr. Seuss, but goodness. Tigers is doing a great job just applying that pressure so far. Stillwater on the early attack, but that one's going to go right into our favorite goaltender and she's just going to pick it up right there. Yeah, that was a good a good good through right there by I think it was Landry or yeah, Landry Alley. She had a good through right there again to her teammate, but a little too much sauce on that hit right there. Got it easy to Hammond, Hammond played it safe, let it go inside the box and picked it up very easily. Yeah, Hammond who will be playing next year for Grambling has been something special. Or not next year, actually, 2025. So Thank it's actually you. really, really interesting to see. I mean, we have two insane goalies on this team, Haley Allen as well as Jalen Hammond, and they are both juniors. I mean, obviously this team has a lot of great seniors, um, but this team also has insane juniors and sophomores. So I think the future of this Lady Tiger team is going to be great, as well as the boys. Yes. I mean, we talked about it last game. Um, Angel Derrios, two goals, and we didn't even talk about the fact that he is a freshman. I wouldn't even bring that up or anything. I mean, they, the guys always talk about it like the freshman class or this soccer team is insane. And you obviously played back in your Pee Wee days. I know you said your little brother is a stellar soccer player. So the years here at Broken Arrow are, are going to be good on the pitch for soccer. 100%. That one was a little bit of a flop, but as Sophia Johannesy hit the turf, I don't think it was malicious against the, uh, for the Tigers, but... We'll move on. That's 35 it. minutes remain here in the first half, and we are still scoreless. That is a good word, malicious. You know, I wasn't in English class today, so I'm going to say that was my English learning thing. You know, we've we, we been reading Lord of the Flies, so I read I read my book while I was on the bus. It's a long time since I've read that book. Yeah, it's, a, it's a great book, very, very interesting book. You know, it's actually I'm actually a big fan of reading. You know, a lot of people hate on reading i don't understand why i mean obviously watching the movie is book better. or tablet what's better to read off of jojo book. I, don't, book. I don't i don't like to read oh off nice that. pass into the middle but that one goes away castleberry had a good clean look there to take it to the net 100 percent. both the um center backs right there just closed the gap and immediately when they saw that ball so good read by them on the defensive end and just gave it out to him for him for that opportunity but it's just going to go right into the goalie's hands but Good, good start, good look right there for the target team early on. And that was a, I don't know what that was supposed to be, but they didn't really go anywhere, so Tigers are going to get that one back. And Morales has control of it, but she loses it, and Pioneers get it right back. But it goes right back in the hands of the Tigers. It seems to be back and forth on this other side of the ball. Good, good cross right there, but it's going to go on the back end of the side. And it's good to see Bianca Lopez back out there after her red card fiasco from the last few games, but she is back out there, obviously going to UCO the following year to play soccer. So it's great to see having our having some of our, our um, collegiate-level talent out there. That header went the wrong way for the Pioneers, so they'll be back deep on their side. Good job right there by Martin. She can get a good cross right here. Yeah, Martin with a beautiful pass to Morales. Morales it. Loses it, keeps control of it, putting her hips on her, turns it around. 
but doesn't get it in the net. Good save right there. You know, I didn't go in, but if they can continue that early on, they're going to get a lot of points in the bread basket. 100%. Ooh, bread basket. Dan, I'm, I'm throwing some snaps out there for that one. Still with the raspy voice out here making some great calls, man. That's Dan Hawk for you. Yeah. Or should I say Raspy Dan. The, the Hawkeye. Yeah, the Hawkeye. <laughs> if you were here last stream. That one goes out of bounds. Pretty good crowd on hands. Stillwater obviously not that far away. So not really surprised that we have a good crowd on hand. And this if you know, if you had to look at the matches on paper, the boys game twelve and one, five and zero, oh, Stillwater six and five, two and two, but the girls Eight and three versus seven and four. So there's a lot at stake this uh, this evening here. This is, a, I mean, they're a, they're a pretty competitive team. It's going to be a good game to go into. So, I mean, eight minutes in, it seems like Tigers have momentum 100. percent But we're going to see if that can. Hopefully, that doesn't shift. If Tigers can just keep it up defensively, especially having Bianca Lopez back. That was a huge miss for us in that UConn game. So, hope to see that turn out well for this game. Ham is going to beat that one out to Hanfrey, but. Ball has a weird spin to it. Like taking cookies from a kid right there. Hanfrey easily took that one away, but it's going to stay on Stillwater's side. Why Why am I not surprised you took some cookies from a kid Dude, one day? Dan, what the heck? I didn't even <laughs> do that. I, I will say I was a huge Cookie Monster guy. Big Almo man. I, was, I loved Almo man. That was one of my favorite shows. I was more of an Elmo guy. Really? Yeah. I, I, this is not an old joke. I'm not dis dissing you or anything, but was Elmo like a thing? And like just, you know, I liked Elmo. Martin nearly tracked that one down, and that would have been great field position for her going the other way. Yeah, good job by Martin. Whenever you said Martin, I thought you were referring to the TV show Martin. Martin. So I was like, <laughs> was you were watching Martin as a kid? I was like, yeah, okay, that's a. No, I was more of an in living color kind of guy back in the day. That's way before your time. You guys could see my face right now. It'd be like we we got a nod from our director Antonio Hurling for In Living Color and Wayne's Brothers. Do you do you even know what we're talking about here, Judge? Drawing a blank, bro. Good shot right there. That one's off. Uh, Did that hit the crossbar at the top? That was. That one's gonna go out of bounds as Henfrey with some great defense. Fans cheer for the onside right there. Good opportunity for them for a corner kick. To make something happen. This is going to be the first one. You know, it's a good night when you get Antonio Hurling smiling on the stream. Oh, man. Who you've had as a teacher for two years, three? I have never had Mr. Hurling as a teacher, actually. No, okay. You know, I, I just kind of, like, followed him around. That's really <laughs> what it was, to be honest. Not, not in a creepy way. I just kind of, like, went to his class, and I just bugged him around. Corner kick for Stillwater. Easy job right there by Castleberry getting right in front of it. And if she would have been able to... Catch up to that just a tiny bit, JoJo. I think she could have had the field go the other way a oh, long distance. Maybe. She's got Morales, got Martin, other Martin, for, uh, and Dot uh, out there. Uh, she's got the a Dodgers. bunch of numbers out there can make something happen. But it's going to be goal kick for the Tigers. And the leg you don't want to give that to is Hammond. 100%. But she's just going to take this one easy, give it out to Lopez. And, I mean, man, this this Friday it's a big one. We got senior night, man. You know, we've we've seen we've been through a lot of senior night. Senior What's the team. theme? Do we have a theme yet from Jungle Squad? Oh, we'll so, find out on that so, in a minute. I'm so sorry, I don't know the theme. Good cross right there, it's Castleberry. Castleberry trying, trying to get a side. corner. Gets it out to Dodd, but Dodd's momentum takes it, puts the ball. back. Martin's the there though. Forward. Back to Dodd. Dodd in the middle. Good pass to Morales. Gets it back to Martin. Martin with the shot. Not too much sauce on that one. So it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick for Jenkins. Off the mark. By Baby Martin just for wide. But goal it's still early. Minutes. 29 minutes still here left in the first half. Yeah, Deer true. Creek has now doubled up their lead on Eisenhower. It's 2 nothing. Mustang on top of Capitol Hill, 2 nothing. Edmund Memorial on top of U.S. Grant. 2 nothing. All these scores are in the first half of play. As far as area teams around our area, there's Enid and Owasso, Bartosville, Jinx, Union, and Sand Springs. But all those games are still scoreless, so we'll keep you up to date as the night progresses. Yeah, the, the theme 
for this Friday is one of the best themes to have in oh, all Oh, please sports. tell me it's the old, oh, when you guys dress up as senior citizens. Oh, no, not that one. They're that's not. the best theme. The The theme is USA. Oh, that's a good one. That red, white, and blue. It's the easy one because we wear our USA Obies. We love to wear those things, although they, they run big. But, you know, we don't have any, any of us guys out there today. None of our sponsors are here, so... The rules are when sponsors are not here, we cannot wear our overalls and be down on the floor. So, gotcha. sadly, but today's theme was Western. If anybody's anywhere wearing any cowboy boots or okay. anything country related, shout out to that shot by Castleberry. Off the mark. That one's going to go over the fence and. Gonna call it goal kick. Or not goal kick, um, excuse me, corner kick. Corner kick, yes. Yeah, that one could potentially roll into the street. It's slowing down. You have a favorite themed American song? Party in the USA, uh, Miley Cyrus, because that's the only song I know that says USA in it. Okay. Not bad. We're missing a ball, but now we got one. Shout out to Jalen Hammond for providing the soccer ball. That's no the other one is over the fence, and I don't think anybody wants to hop the fence. And it's going to go for that corner kick to Condry, Leah Condry. No, I think that's Henfrey. Hen it is Henfrey. Correction. Thank you. Oh, no problem, Dan. That's what I'm here for. There's a one on her jersey as well. Henfrey. With the boot. Ball still up there. And the nice setup by their goalie. I will say Jenkins was very, very risky with that one. Kind of just booting it out of there. Could have easily just grabbed it. But regardless of it, no goal. So she did her job. Did her job well. And now it's Stillwater possession. So How about Jenkins only a freshman as well for Stillwater? Shout out to – I mean, uh, it, it's unbelievable to think because I couldn't imagine myself doing anything sport as a freshman. So – I, I, I give credit to those people that are that are freshmen out there that are f not only playing, getting minutes, but also starting. So, huge shout out to those guys and girls. <coughs> and already down to 26 minutes of play in this first and quarter. And the wind has definitely picked up. If we look at the house across the streets, one of those houses has an American flag, and it's completely parallel. If you see that, JoJo, so wind could play a factor as the sunsets later will, this I, evening. I will say thank goodness there is wind because, brother, I was going to be sweating even more, and I do not like to sweat. But good through right there by Hanfrey, and Casabar has got it. She's got the speed and got the moves to do something. Goodness gracious, as she does that. Good pulls, cross. Pulls up to Martin, to Morales, and Morales loses her footing, so Stillwater takes it right back. The Tigers get it right back. Anderson, good job getting in front of it. Hanfrey to Castleberry with the cross. And hits Morales, but I don't know. Jenkins moved in slow motion, but she got the save anyway. So that's going to go back to Stillwater. I mean, Tigers doing a great job just keeping everything on this side, as we said earlier. Story of the game. Keep everything on this side. We should come up with a W. Tigers are doing that and executing it very well. It's going to go out and be Tigers' ball. Good job right there by Evan Shaw. Just staying on the hip of the defender, not letting, not letting anything get past her, and Getting the ball out of there. But that's going to go ball back to Steelwater now. And Edmund Memorial added another goal on U.S. Grant, so it's 3 nothing in the first. Goodness, U.S. Grant is struggling. 3-0, man. I'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Since and St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Man, I'm seeing Coach – I'm seeing um, – one of our guys, Coach Pruitt, come up here in this booth with two bags of popcorn. It's making me very jealous. The man brings popcorn for himself, but nothing for the broadcast team. That's all I got to say. I'm just jealous. I was, I guess, I said it earlier off stream. I'll say it on stream. Once they announce that 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 um, it's those football guys, oh JoJo, we know this. <laughs> yeah, but once once they announce that that um, pizza is two dollars, brother, I am running out of here, going down there and purchasing two dollar pizza. I think I think because you're on the call, you might get a coach Pruitt might hook you up with a free slice tonight of pizza. Whoa, that can happen. It might happen. Oh, oh, dude, if that happens, I'm just as long as you get your main man Dan a Gatorade to help his raspy voice, then we're <laughs> then we're good to go. Well, actually, Dan, water's probably the answer. Yeah, water probably is. That's what your dad, your doctor dad, would say. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't like it, right? Oh, Castleberry gets shoved over. Good call by the ref, realizing that. How about Castleberry falling down and getting right back up, knowing that the ball is in the possession of the Tigers and potentially could get something to score as well? Yep, there's a song by Future, and it says that I am a dog, 
And that was a moment right there by Castleberry showing showing that dog mentality, getting right back up. I mean, we saw in the UConn game last week, she was getting shoved, moved around, all these things, but still stood up like a warrior. Although she got a yellow card, still fought strong for her teammates. And that's what we love to see on this Tiger team. That's, what, that's, what it, that's, what it, that's what's going to separate a casual team from an above-average team. So, And we got um, Leah Condra and Claire Finley getting ready to, to get into this game. Both are amped up to get in this game, too. They're well, jumping on the sideline, excited to get into this action. Dodd's got it. Team captain Dodd, I shall say. Nice pass down to him free here in the corner. Herman Castleberry's got the chemistry, and that's a meg right through the legs. But Herman's still, going to go out of bounds. It. Just boots it out, plays it safe. Down to 22 and a half minutes as Condry, along with Finley, check in. Nicole Martin taking a breather. Bailey Martin, correction, taking a breather. As well as Alexis Morales. You know, it's like I said, this this is like a perfect correlation. But you know, and obviously we said in high school, high school ball, you can um, sub in and out and keep them like going back in and out, but. You know, earlier today in that um, Champions League game, we saw Barcelona has this 16-year-old playing professional soccer. That's like, insane. His name is um, Yamal. He's from Spain. And um, this guy got subbed out like 34, 35 minutes in, did not come back in. And it was a questionable sub out, but, you know, it just kind of goes to show the difference. You know, in, in high school ball, you can sub in and out. But in, in the professionals, you can only sub out once, and that might be a risky call to. And lucky you don't have to worry about that in high school. But 16 playing against, like, 35-year-old professional dudes is just shout-out. Deserve to be a millionaire off that one. Good steal by Anderson. Shot right there, but good job putting her body out. Did not even happen. And a Stillwater player slow to get up. Let's hope she's all right. But Castleberry taking it to the left side she's, with the cross. She's clearly hurt. She's in the middle. Well defended by the Pioneers. Goal kick. Well, that's going to be and a goal kick. Is Lauren Phillips. For Stillwater, who appears to be with a hurt ankle. So she's going to come out like for the Pioneers. Landry it's a good thing she can walk on her own will. Tiger sub in um, Landry for Nicole Martin. And Sophia jo John Hansi coming in for the injured Phillips. Glad to see her be able to walk on her own power. but She's hurt. Know, she's down on the ground. But yeah. You always hate to see injuries in, the, in sports, regardless of if it's the team you're rooting for or not. I never sure. understood that. I, it always takes me back. Like My first like memory of people like cheering on an injury was um, KD whenever the Warriors played the Raptors. Um, you know, obviously me growing up a Thunder fan, I was like, you know, I wasn't a big guy, KD, but hearing the Raptors fans boo KD kind of kind of sucks to see because, you know, the number one thing about sports is sportsmanship. So it's always good to see people like, like you don't want to ever see people go through injuries. So sure. she can walk on her own, Will. Big fan of KD. Played for my Seattle Supersonics, drafted by the Sonics. Back well, he, in also, the day. he also played for your Thunder, who are actually now the number one seed, right? Not my Thunder. But, like, that's like <laughs> – Ah, oh, Dan. Dan, 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 where do I even begin? Good give to him for she's going to get to Castleberry. Just a little, little back and forth action between the two. Guys working the corner. Just going to get it out to Condry. Back to Castleberry. Good cross that right there. It's going to go to the back of the net, JoJo. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy oh, as it hits the back of the net. And I believe that's a goal from Landry Turner. If I'm not mistaken, just just simple, simple stuff right there. And I think Ref, I don't know what he did with his hands, put up an X or something, but good goal right Ball there. So it's going to make it one nil Tiger way. And like we said earlier, just play the way they've been playing. Keep everything on this side, and it should come out with a victory. And Tigers just put the period on the mark right there, make it 1-0. Oh. All right. On a game like this, it can get out in a hurry. And we have another Tori sub. Tori Hanson coming in. It's going to be Tori. Addison. Addison Castleberry for Tori Hanson. Yep. And the Tigers score first, one nothing. Oh, Dan, that, that voice. I hope that gets better. You ever you ever think of doing a Dan does stuff at prom? Oh, man. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I know it's your I, – I Well, know. since I got ditched at my senior prom. What? I, you know. Dude, can we have a story time? I know we were talking about soccer, but, like, you know, maybe you could, like, co correlate this to soccer in a you way. You do realize, JoJo, when you graduate in May, 
This will be my first ever high school graduation because I didn't even go to my high school graduation. We did talk about that last time. So, I'm expecting a shout out in your speech somewhere. Dan, we're gonna we're gonna try to think of an inside joke we can plug into it. You know, I'm not gonna just blatantly be like, you know, man, Dan Hawk, that guy right there, like he was just such a good guy. He's just, I really doubt I get that big of a shout. <laughs> That'd be funny. I would. I will say. Um, but yeah, dude, they, this is your senior prom. It's okay, yeah, man. It happens. It does. Look at where you're at now. It's true. We're calling games in at Kirkland Soccer Complex in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. From, oh, that's that's an opportunity right there. Hanson's got it. Can give it to Hanfrey. Hanfrey, Hanfrey kicking it back to Castleberry. She can get a good cross right here. She does. A little flat. And good save by Jenkins. Could have Not oh. enough power right there. Yeah, I think she's going just for a low cross. And ended up going past the defender, past the Tigers. Going straight to the goalie. And that's a through right there. But it went through nobody as Evan Shaw keeps control of it. And just safely kicks it out the area. And that's going to be a deeper throw in for Steelwater than it would have been at the spot the Shaw was at. Shaw defends that well. Plays it out for a throw in to the Lady Pioneers. So the Pioneers with the throw in opportunity here. I will say, you know, this Friday we have senior night and the boys soccer team I have seen what USA they're, night too, by the way. Not only the yes, of course, but oh, that's a good opportunity for Stilly, and they just kind of take a shot at it with, you know, she kicked her leg up, but the ball was not there. So, missed opportunity for Steelwater. Ass. That's going to be a throw in for them. But, you know, I saw, I got a sneak, I got a sneak preview of the boys' senior night um, jerseys that they have, which say their last names on the back. Are they fire? As a caller, they're very fire, very fuego, very beautiful. It's in Fuego, I believe, isn't it? I, I wouldn't know. I, I, I took Spanish in ninth grade. It's been a while, man. Score update for you, JoJo. Edmund Memorial now leading U.S. Grant 4 nothing. Man, U.S. Grant. What, what, are they in the state of Oklahoma? Yeah, Oklahoma City. Really? Shout out to U.S. Grant. Obviously not for the score, but just shout out U.S. Grant. I just never knew about them. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying that? No, no. I don't think U.S. Grant. <laughs> wait, what? Never mind, continue. <laughs> I'm really confused now. Wait, I'm not talking about the president. Oh, I thought that's who you were talking no. about. No. You got me all confused, <laughs> JoJo. I was like, I don't no. think Ulysses S. Grant is from Oklahoma. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think he is. I don't think, was, was, he, was Oklahoma even a thing whenever he was here? He was not. Yeah, I, I would I don't think he was. was ever here. <laughs> Territory. Yeah, I don't think it was like a, a, a state at the point in time. No, I was just like shouting out like the school. Ah. I, I don't know. I never knew about him. Good ball right there. An opportunity for the Tigers if they just keep it. Turner's got it again. Can get the second goal. Ooh, a little too much on that one right there. But I believe it was Tory Hansen. Good, good shot. Defense. Good look. Just a little too much on it. Shot was a little hot. It's going to be a goal kick for Jenkins and the Pioneers. As they need to start getting something going. Snippity snappity because the Tigers are keeping everything on this side pretty well. Yeah, they've been able to put the pressure on the Pioneers. And they've been cruising so far. I will say now, I, I am realizing a good cross right there by Turner, but good deflection right there by a Pioneer defender, and that's going to be corner for the Tigers. You know, none, none of my um, jungle Tigers brethren corner. are here, so now during halftime I can't go on the field and kick the ball around on the pitch. So I guess I'll be hanging out with you guys. There's nothing wrong with that. We like you in the press box. Oh, of course. You know, I feel like I'm like, I feel older and more like, like in tune when I'm up here sometimes, you know, so I like the vibes of here. And I, and I can get free pizza possibly, so we'll see if that comes to pass or not. You'll have to get a hook up from Coach Pruitt. As he's right behind me, hopefully. I hear he's one of the hardest teachers at Broken Arrow High School next to Phil Hadley. That's what I hear. Well, I hear that Phil Hadley is very chill and, and easy. But I never had him. Well, when I say easy, I mean like he's like an he's like he's like a good teacher to have. You know what I mean? I hear we have a special project on Friday that there might be something coming up on Aerovision from Phil Hadley's. No class. way! Oh, oh, oh! I thought he was gonna hop on the stream with us. <laughs> Dang I mean, it! We could maybe bribe him to get on the stream. That'd be cool. I wish you could do like corner kick for Broken Arrow. It's a high one right there, and that's in there. Good goal by Brooke Dodd, getting her head up there, heading it in. Easy, easy goal. Was there even any effort needed? Jenkins was just lackluster the whole time. Easy goal for Dodd. That's Good two nil Tigers. Dodd was headed into the goal. 
Broken so Arrow two quick up. goals for Broken Arrow. And they now lead Stillwater. Like Two nothing. To to Taco, Broken Arrow on Main Street, on looking to pick up their ninth win of the season. They've been five and three against Class 6A teams. And like we said at the beginning of the contest, they're averaging three goals a game, so they're coming up on that. Yes, sir, that's awesome. Just want to give a shout out to our one club sponsors First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Ascension St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Um, and, then, and then, you know, Tiger Threads, shout out to them. They're located at the northeast corner of the new event center in the south end zone of Tiger Stadium. It is your go to for all fan gear needs. Open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. to the public. The address is 220 North 23rd Street, Suite 161. And BAPS staff members enjoy additional discounts. Sadly, I do not. So enjoy those discounts to all of you staff members. And hence, it being nice and aggressive, good defense. That's like some Draymond Green type of stuff right there. Get them to the ground. And now, Tigers keep it. Let's just hope she doesn't get fined like Draymond Green does. I, I'm, a, I'm a, you know. I, I shouldn't be a fan of Draymond Green, but I am a fan of Draymond Green. Not only do I like the podcast, I just like him as a player, I will say. And, and, and you know, I'm not a hater on LeBron, but if LeBron didn't have Draymond Green, um, if LeBron, if Draymond Green didn't get ejected from that 3-1 comeback finals game, game five, they wouldn't have came back. But now we've got some subs coming in, a link, a big amount of them as we've got, um, we've got Gracie, we've got Gracie Frey coming in. We have... Trinity Shanahan, Austin Brown, Sanaya Roberts, and last but not least, I believe it Sanaya was Roberts. Peyton Phillips. So a good amount of them out there. You know, a good start for the Tigers. And, oh, my goodness, man, the kindness in this booth is insane. Mr. Philip Hadley just put my phone on the charger, realizing it was so low. Man, just... It just goes. If you're watching the stream right now, just show kindness every day, man. Choose kindness over everything. It is Smile Week, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, good, good plug right there, Dan. Now I can talk about that. But Smile Week, man, that is our seeing miracles in everyday life. Life seeing miracles in life every day. Philanthropy Week. This week is Smile Week for Brooklyn. She is four years old, and we are going to grant her wish to go to Disney World. So, student council, advanced leadership. Um, we play a part in decorating the high school for all things that she likes. And on Friday at 3.30, we will reveal the big surprise. News on 6 will be there. A bunch of the news companies and obviously all of us to go celebrate and support Brooklyn. Do we know what reporter is coming from News on 6? I don't know. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know many. Give oh. a shout out to Matt Ron. Hopefully he's listening on the stream and maybe he'll make an appearance. They should give me a job. That'd be nice. Just kidding. I, I can make that happen. Let's, free, let's go. That'd be awesome. But um, tonight's I, newscast with JoJo David. I think that that screams an Emmy, if I'm not mistaken. Did I be thinking about it all the time? I'm like, when am I going to stop going by JoJo? Because I don't, I don't know many people that go by their nickname over their real name. So I'm like, when am I going to stop? I don't even know your real name. What the so. heck? <laughs> oh. Just, just was his, it's, it's Joseph. My full name is Joseph DeWitt David. Do Shout it, out, David. Yes, sir. Shout out to yourself. Is that what you were doing? No, right I wasn't going to say that, Dan. <laughs> that's very, very. That was sounding like that's what you were going to do. <laughs> no, I was. Okay. You know, may, maybe I was. Good moves by Henson right there. but Henson trying to sneak by a couple defenders from Stillwater. See how I, how I made them to like, you know, get away from the subject that we were just talking about? You know, good, good wordplay right there. But, you know, back to News on Six stuff. The only News on Six person that I know. I know Lori, Lori Full, Full, Lori Full, Fulbright. Yes, Travis Meyer, and that's about it. Stephen Aaron's. Wait, is his name Craig? Craig Day. Yes. And Dan Hawk. You knew Dan Hawk. I do know Dan Hawk. Yeah. Who's my favorite one? Good header right there. Ooh, that was man. almost a big time score from Broken Arrow. Jojo, break it down. That would have been Claire Finn. That would have stood on my feet, clapped my hands, cheered and shouted because that would have been a beautiful header. It would have been the second header of the day, second goal off of a header, off of a corner kick. So it would have been nice to see to make it a 3-0 score. But Finley just stood there, simply just headed it in, put it in a good spot. Um, Jake has just hit it up. It just barely hit that top post. And lucky enough, they got it. But another corner right there for the Tigers. Beautiful look. Another header and another goal just like that. I think that's Lila Mars too as well. 
If I, yes, it is by the breast, I could tell, but good goal right there. 3 0, 3 0 lead for the Tigers. And I mean, like I said, this is just easy. Easy stuff for the Tigers. Goal off of a header, goal off of a corner, goal off of a strike. Tigers are doing it all in all specific places. They just are playing the perfect ball right now. And it's not even the second half yet. Dan? Yeah, Tigers have just had full control of this as we we're at 9.38 left in the contest. Just a couple more goals. And they are definitely going to cement a big-time win here against Stillwater. Obviously, they're going to have to maintain the lead going into the second half. But Broken Arrow in complete control. Some score updates for you. Deer Creek and Eisenhower. Deer Creek is up now 4 nothing. Piedmont and Moore squaring off. They're early in the first. one nothing Piedmont. 3 nothing Mustang over Capitol Hill. 6 nothing over Putnam City West with Bishop McGinnis on top of Putnam City West. 6 nothing Edmund Memorial now has four goals on U.S. Grant. Yeah, it just seems right now it's just been all Tigers today. I feel like Stillwater hasn't had like a, a true pure shot on goal all day. Just... Tigers dominating, doing their job, and Torrey Henson streaking on that left side. Good through. And Stillwater's going to keep it, but good effort by Condry. And Shanahan's got it. Can do something right here. Just gives it out to Henson. Henson making moves with the feet. <coughs> Working some magic, but Stillwater takes it. She gets it right back, staying on her feet. Some athletic stuff as they're trapped in that corner. You know, when that ball's in the corner right on the line, I always find it fascinating how you judge. Did they step out of bounds to kick the ball or anything like that? Yeah, ref's job is a lot. Mala Mars giving it to Austin Brown. Brace on brace action. Gets it to Dodd. Back to Morales. Making some moves. Goodness gracious, what a shot. If that would have curbed a little bit more. That kind of could have went into the bread basket there. She could have added a little bit of Slatan Ibrahimovic turn to that one would have worked right in there you know shout out to Ibrahimovic one of the best of our generation to play soccer but if she had a little bit of curve on that one right there would have easily won that goal but good look good moves to get the opportunity to take that shot and free close but okay. now we're down to 745 so down and it's still goal. three no Tigers this has been all Tigers all day hopefully we can see that correlate into the boys game that's going to be just a simple mistake by Stillwater it's going to stay Tigers ball yeah, Jenkins put it, what you'd like to say, sauce on that and tossed it out of bounds. So Broken Arrow will get a throw in here. Yeah, just too much sauce. Good ball right there by Austin Brown. She gets it right back, but nobody there to receive it. It's going to go to Shanahan, keeps control of it. Nice little spin move to it. Morris crosses that one to Turner. And she's got the speed to get around that corner. Good cross, but the story of the show. Another corner kick for the Tigers. Does that mean another header into the net by the Tigers? You know we what? Why see. not? Let's see if I'm going to I'm gonna say that we're going to get one, another one right here. You know, every time I hear why not, I think of my glorious king, Russell Westbrook. I am Russell Westbrook's biggest fan. It's a good cross right here. High. And okay, Morales I was wrong. Passes. Uh, anything is possible. It gets another opportunity. Turner with it. Turner loses it, but she can get it right back. If she does. Got the Sunny D shoes on her feet. And Mars has it. She's got the power to strike this one from distance, too. But just gets it right back to Austin Brown, to Roberts. Down to about six minutes left here in the first. Cross by Turner. And Jenkins just easily catches that one right in the glove. Gloves, I shall say. And, yeah, she's just going to boot that one out. Not too much to it, so Tigers might get it back. But Speaking of glove, Dan, are we going to ever um, commentate some baseball? You know, that needs to happen before the end of the year. Oh. Have you redeemed yourself on uh, no, no, please don't. On what? On how you score in softball well, and that, baseball? It's not, it's, it's not score, it's runs. It's score, too. Like, it's, you know. <laughs> that's what it was that I kept saying. I kept, you know, streamers watching, if you're a baseball softball fan, you might get disgusted by me saying this, but we were on the call a while ago for fast pitch softball season, and I kept saying points, 
not runs nor scores. And Dan was getting very frustrated <laughs> with me, as he should. I, I, you know, it was very reasonable, I will say. And well, that was whenever I was a young, and, you know, me and Dan were just barely on the start with, you know, true. commentating volleyball and things of that nature. Good through right there by Henson. And Austin Brown gets in front of it, which gets it to Morales. You know, I don't think there's not enough said about Morales. She's, like, in on every single play, not just in this game, but through the course of this season when we've called games. She's always in, and then she's out on the edge. She's, she's kind of like the glue that holds this team together. Very much so. Just here, there, and everywhere. She seems she, she to be like an unsung hero on this team, and she's clearly having an impact today so far as being a big part of that first goal that was scored. Second goal and getting some good looks herself as well. So I, I, I can say confidently, well, I can say confidently, I'll take that back. Yes, if she stays in this game, gets those minutes, we will in main percent see a goal from her in the net. As Roberts has it, kind of gives it. Morales is there to get it, though. Making moves herself. Just going to reset easily, you know. Obviously, if you just wait for the look, look to come to you, it will come. No need to force it, so. The boys seem to do that really well, it feels like, you know, just kind of rely on their center backs and, Defensive mids just get it back to them, make some money magic happen in that back area, and then they just create opportunities in the front area. It's going to be a cross for the Tigers, and Brown's going to be there to get that one. Chooses to take it to the right side, gets it to Morales. Morales in the middle. She's just using her body, making it easy. Shanahan's got it. Shanahan's trying to create some space. Shanahan, the senior, she's got a look right here. And oh, oh, almost man. went in as Condry was there for the cleanup duty and then almost went to the back of the net as Jenkins didn't have a good hold on the ball. If Shanahan could have put that one a little bit more higher, a little bit to the left, I think we would have seen a goal scored by the senior, a friend of mine, senior, I will say also. So that would have been a very cool thing to see. But Jenkins um, lost it, and Tigers got the opportunity because of that. But, you know, we can see it happen again as Shanahan has it right back. Gets it to Henson. Henson's going to cut it inside. Taking it all herself. Good shot. Good save by Jenkins right there. Just a little off the mark. Getting some hops to get the, get up there to, to get it out of that area. But story of the show. Another corner kick for the Tigers. Tigers. Not Tigers. What am I saying? And Landry Turner has an opportunity to cross this one in a good spot. And Tigers can get another header in the net. As we're down to less than two minutes and 30 seconds to go. I'd like to see another goal before half. You know what i like to see, Dan? A slice of pizza and Gatorade. Ah, we'll, get, <laughs> we'll see if Coach Pruitt likes you enough to make that happen. And that one was just a little, little too high up there by Mara. She kind of just took a hit Morris with it with that left leg, or right leg, excuse there. me. Put it too high up right there, and, and they're going way over the net. It's going to be a goal kick for... The Pioneers. Didn't go anywhere, though, as the Tigers get it right back. Yep, and Austin Brown's got it. Gets it back, back, and back. Keeps control of it. And that went to Henson, who could do stuff herself as she is. Yeah, she slowed her feet down. Brown's got it. Takes the shot, but sadly enough, a defender was there. But Henson's got it right back, and Tigers are just domination, man. D-O-M-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. Shout out to all my English teachers from back in the day. <laughs> but that is just a way to explain what's going on right now with the Tigers. Just straight domination, man. Roberts in the middle. Morales using, doing a good job using her body, getting that ball. And just the way that she fought for is the reason the Tigers got it. Phillips with the shot. Shot, pass, whatever it is. Easy cleanup right there by Jenkins to get it. She's going to take her time look for the open teammate. One minute remains here in this first half. You know, I'm very jealous to see um, some, I think it's the JV players on Stillwater. They're on the student section on that side. They had some wing stop. They were munching on some wing stop, and they just threw it in the trash can. I just got a little jealous right there. You know, any of you guys that think that beat us is better than wing stop, I don't know what you're thinking. You, wing stop clears. You need to check out Waldo's. Oh, we were actually, oh, good good, good job right there. Getting it to Henson. Henson with the Henson shot. Henson with the shot. Almost. 30 seconds remain. Some score updates for you. Deer Creek 4-0. Over Eisenhower, Edmond North 2-0. Over Edmond Santa Fe 5-0. Mustang on top of Capitol Hill. 6-0 over Putnam City West is Bishop McGinnis. 1-0 over Moore is Piedmont. 
4 nothing over U.S. Grant Edmond Memorial. Ten seconds remain. And barring anything wild, Six, Tigers are going to go into the half four, three, two, with that 3-0 one. lead. And that will do the first half of play. 3 nothing, Broken Arrow. We'll have the second half coming up on Arrowvision. Let us take a moment to reorient ourselves. Zoom out to a wider view. Look at the greater whole to see the beauty of this one body that is Broken Arrow Public Schools. And in doing so, may we be encouraged to continue graciously serving each day in the good and important work, reminded that we truly are better together. Thank you. All right, Broken Arrow. It's time to announce this year's District Teacher of the Year, Kyle Cole Rhodes Elementary. Dan Hawk here with AeroVision, and I'm with the Teacher of the Year, Mr. Kyle Cole from Rhodes Elementary. How special is this honor for you today? It is beyond special. It's it's a huge honor. Uh, th- this district has, I fell in love with this district when I first started here. They brought me in, and as soon as I got here, I realized I'm not, I, I just can't see myself teaching anywhere else. It showed me the love for teaching, but I've met so many people who've helped guide me and you know brought me here today so this was just such an honor and i'm going to work so hard to represent broken era not just the district but the the city as well engaging young minds is the key goal as a teacher and as an educator for you you take it a step further by even building the furniture that these children sit on trying to get them engaged to understand education what does that all mean to you it means everything is, you know, it's part of me. That's one thing. If somebody comes to my room, I, if any, you know, thing they can say is that I, it reflects my love I have for teaching. It's a part of me, and I want my classroom to be warm and welcoming uh, because that transition every day for those kids, even all year, can be difficult. So having a place that feels doesn't, doesn't necessarily feel like a classroom. It feels like, you know, a place that they can take ownership of and come in and let that guard down, and so we can, you know, you know, teach them and show them that they're loved and teach them those skills. For you, I know that you, the wheels are always spinning as far as what you want to teach your children next. How does it all come together for you as an educator? It's just the kids kind of guide me on that one. It's just every year I wish I could say I could have an exact plan every year, but I really can't. They kind of tell, they tell me what they need to know, uh, whether it's just more life skills, social skills, or the academics. Um, you know, they they construct their own learning, you know, and I'm just, I feel like I'm a facilitator most of the time. I know that you're a teacher from the time that I met you. You're going to put yourself even farther, even with this honor. What's next for you as an educator? I can't go a day without thinking about my classroom. So I, I feel like that's just the little corner of the universe that I can make some change in and at least have these people that can send them off and they can make even bigger change. So that's my focus. And that's what I think about all the time. I try not to take anything too big because they'll take care of that for me universe is out there have you thought about where you want to take uh, your significant other on this trip um she's she's the boss so i'm just as long as she lets me go with her i'll be okay with it so i'll carry her bags too so we get we can celebrate wherever we go and yeah and i'm, I'm just happy to be along congratulations Thank once again so much comes to training, it's all about pushing boundaries and embracing different styles to elevate your performance. After graduating from Broken Arrow High School, Joshua Farquhar decided to take his wrestling skills abroad, heading to Georgia, just south of Turkey. Little did he know how much this experience would shape his journey back to Broken Arrow. I've gotten to train with them the past couple months and I've progressed a lot, so having them come here, be in my home, and kind of get to see where I was wrestling, uh, it just makes me happy. Just as wrestlers strive to reach their peak, that same dedication is evident in the final details of Broken Arrow High School's new wrestling facility. This week has been truly exceptional, with wrestlers from across the globe joining in the excitement. We're hosting a training camp with the Georgia national team. Uh, They're going to wrestle in the Journeyman International Wrestling Tournament in Albany, New York later this week. 
and uh, they had the opportunity to come train here uh, for the opener of uh, this new facility. Uh, it's just special, you know, not a lot of people get this opportunity, I don't feel like. And so to be able to learn from some of the best in the uh, world is really special. Many miles separate the country of Georgia and Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The Georgia national team made a pit stop here at Broken Arrow High School to check out the new facilities and showcase their style of wrestling. Freestyle in America is getting more and more popular. So when we teach our stuff, it's pretty proud for us. And having them come and teach and uh, show us some of I mean, what they work in matches, um, it helps the Broken Arrow wrestling community kind of move forward in a good direction, I think. Beyond training, the Georgia national team really got a taste of Oklahoma life, checking out the Wrestling Hall of Fame in Stillwater and diving into what makes this state so unique. For us, this is a good experience. And for you also, I see we are happy and you are happy. And guys, girls everywhere. And we change our things, our techniques, our many, many things. This, this is so, so nice. But we're trying to give them, I mean, like a good American experience. For a lot of them, it's their first time in the U.S. I think only two of them have actually been here. When it comes to wrestling, everyone's got their own moves and techniques. But what never changes is the love for the sport and the intense competition that drives us all. Not only do we want to have the best facilities, we want to create the best relationships for our wrestlers to improve, and this is just the first step. We trained, we had lots of fun, and I, I think I'll come back once again. Yeah. I, I really like here, being here. A new facility, new memories, and the love of wrestling, all set to be pinned down for an exciting future. The timing of it coming together, uh, with the Georgian uh, wrestlers coming in town and this facility being available is just basically the tip of the iceberg of the things that we want to do and continue to do. Now just knowing that this like side of the whole facility is ours, it's so wonderful. The future holds endless possibilities. At Broken Arrow High School with AeroVision, I'm Dan Hawk. this year's Beyond and Above winner. Please help me welcome to the stage Maurice Wallace, behavior coach at the Broken Arrow Freshman Academy. Dan Hawk here with AeroVision. I'm here with Beyond and Above winner Maurice Wallace. How was this night for you? I know that it was a whirlwind of a night, hearing everybody finding out where you'd stand, yeah. but what does it mean to you to walk away with this? I just It just means a lot not only to me, but to BAFA. Um, I think uh, there's a, a perception of BAFA out there with a lot of people, and I don't think they understand what we're trying to do for the district, and it starts with BAFA. So I think for me, I think it's, this award means a lot to BAFA, and if we can just continue to put that positive energy out there for BAFA, then we'll, we'll be all right. When I walked through and did the story with you, learning that your smile is contagious, but it's getting across to the kids. Tell me about how important that is as to why you got in the education. Well, every day, one thing I can always say, there's always, we never go through what kids are going through today. Um, what, what kids are going through today, I think that what we have to understand is uh, it, does, it doesn't matter what we're going through. It matters what, what, they're, what they're going through. Um, connecting, engaging with kids every day, impacting kids every day. But I think that um, what thing that we can do as teachers, as educators, as support staff, is just to make sure that we, we walk in with a smile on our face every day because that kid needs that smile. These kids today are going through a lot more than what we went through as kids. And I think if I do that and, and love every day and love to come to work every day, it, it's, it's a positive for the kids. The lesson that I learned tonight is it's more than just a teacher. It's yeah. more than the secondary individual helping with a student. Tell me about what that means to you to make that impact on a child. Well, obviously teachers are teaching my kids. I, I think that if, if, if I have that impact with them, 
then they can take that on to the future. I mean, I've seen, you know, I have Miss Otten in there, who's who I've known since I was in fourth grade. Miss Green, who's as, who's an assistant principal, she's my science teacher when I was in sixth grade. Obviously, Mr. Rice, who's our principal, uh, Miss Silva, Miss Officer who hired me. I think those are the key, those those people right there. As long as we as long as we have those type of people impacting those type of kids every day, they'll be able to come back and do the things that we're doing, not only as teachers, but but it supports that. But what does this honor mean to you oh, this evening? This is the top. Uh, I don't think I think a lot of people understand it. If you know me from whenever I was younger, I think this is where this is where it's at right here. I mean, football is football. Uh, winning winning championships is winning championships. But being recognized in the academic world is is is, uh, is major. We always say in our locker room and the coach's office that we're, we're teachers first, but we're former coaches. And welcome back to the Kirkland Soccer Complex. Broken Arrow taking on Stillwater. Tigers with the early first the half lead, half. three, the nothing. Tigers, so if they maintain this lead, they'll pick up their ninth win of the season. They will also pick up their third win in district play as well. Dan Hawk alongside JoJo David this evening. The boys game will follow the girls game. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Ascents in St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Second half about ready to get underway. As JoJo is back on the call with us as he just left the skybox seats and hang, is hanging out with us now back in the press box. I actually well, never left, Dan. Okay. <laughs> but stay with it, know that. Um, we're back out with our um, fresh started, starting lineup. We have both the Martins out there, Evan Shaw, Alexis Morales, Brooke Dodd, Addison Castleberry, Jillian Hawk, Haley Henfrey, Hannah Anderson, and Bianca Lopez. And in goal, we have Haley Allen out there. So Tigers just bringing out that starting lineup back out again. So just close out, most likely I'd say probably these last 10, 15, 20 minutes, and they're going to put in the rest of the subs, you know, get all them in there, you know, because no need to, to wear these guys out. I mean, it's 3-0, 3-0. They've been playing great, stellar, offensively, defensively, too. I mean, shout-out to the defense, not letting anything go past them. So, you know, that's all that we got going on. And, you know, if you were a basketball fan, we will keep you updated. We have um, Lakers and Pelicans going on right now. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see what happens for that. Who's going to end up um, winning to just end up losing to the Nuggets in, in the first round of the playoffs. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see. I know some of our area fans in here are Mavs fans. So we'll see with Blake Shire, Mr. Hadley, feels about their Mavs in the playoffs as well. well they're going to lose to my Clippers and my glorious Russell Westbrook, so it doesn't matter. Good cross right there, but nobody there to get it. Speaking of Castleberry Clipper Clipper greats, cross. Blake Griffin calling it a career. Man, Oklahoma's was, own Blake Griffin. Cool. Yeah, that, 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 that guy was probably one of the best. I mean, I... I don't know my history too well. I've seen like the list of like Oklahoma NBA players, like NBA players come out of Oklahoma. But I would say, if I'm not wrong, I think he's one of the best who come out of like you know born in Oklahoma and come out of Oklahoma. That's Buddy like, Heald maybe on that list. Buddy Heald wasn't born here. He no. was born in like that's true, but he did play for. Oklahoma. Oh, oh, you talking about that? Okay, I'm talking about like born in Oklahoma. Born in Oklahoma, I'd say it's Blake. But like you know, you got like Trey Young, Buddy Heald, um, Austin Reeves. You know, you got some good, you got some good, good guys out there. But if we're kind of like born and raised here and went over here, Blake Griffin definitely first overall pick, slam dunk contest winner. Although it was fake, you know, if you've watched the videos about that, he did not actually jump over a car. But you know, whatever all that stuff is, um, one of the one of the best to do it out there. Wait so. a minute, wait a minute. He jumped over well, a car. I, I don't know why everybody. I, I know, watched it live. Uh, well, oh, you actually did like live in person. Yeah, yes, <laughs> as Mr. Hadley. If you need to, he can uh, vouch on the microphone. He jumped over the car. So why have I seen videos of like people saying like it was like fake? <laughs> no, it's born. real. Okay. It's real. <laughs> As we digress, it's three nothing Tigers. Good cross right there by Henfrey. It's gonna stay with Stillwater though, and destroy the game. Stillwater gets it for about point two milliseconds and gives it right back to the Tigers. As I said, 0.2 milliseconds happened. It's going to go to Morales. The Tigers have just maintained the majority of this. I will say, Dan, your voice sounds a lot better. Well, I rested at half for 
the few minutes that we had there. <clears throat> Sounds great. Evan Shaw's got a little give and go with her and a little bit of physicality right there, getting Hawk on the ground, but Brush is going to let him play. You know, no need to do anything too crazy. It's 3-0. You, know, no, you don't have to go extra try hard, draw, give any yellows, call any fouls. Game's basically over, you know what I mean? So Tigers are staying on her hips. Good job right there by Anderson. She got hit in the throat, it feels like, the way that she reacted, but... You guys ever think that um, one of our games would ever get like 100K views at once? Yeah, ever possible. Like, like in like the near future, possibly. Well, the numbers have risen since you've been on the mic. I will say that. Uh, it's not because of me. It's because of you. I, I, I don't know about that. Mr. News on six. It's a great job by Hanson right there. Moving fast like a Kia Sorento down that field. <laughs> Tigers looking to maintain on Stillwater's end. And that's going to be a throw for Stillwater. We just confirmed that that dunk by Blake Griffin was a actually over a car so jojo you learned something on the broadcast tonight i always learn on the broadcast man <laughs> i don't know how fast kia sorrentos go but i say that because you know i saw kia sorrento on the video you know you know you, you know just just the the commentator you know adding to what you see you know what i mean so so broken arrow will have one more match to close out the season it'll be senior night on friday against Ponca City. <coughs> Ponca City for the girls has struggled this year. Three and six overall, one and four in the district. Also on the boys' side, the boys will play that same Ponca City team. And Ponca City has also struggled on the boys' side. They're three and ten overall. So I will, would assume for senior night, as JoJo mentioned, that it is USA night for the Jungle Squad and the student section. I would say the Tigers, both squads, should end up with a couple wins to end this season before they get into playoffs where it really matters. Good job closing in that gap defensively. But I will say, come playoffs, if we were, we, we will be, I think we're hosting both games we home. should but if we were not to would we be traveling to stream or whatnot anything like that or is that like undecided or how would that work out i know like once it comes like state we don't stream because i was to say rules it kind of like just depends so we'll be to sure that. to stay in touch with us on aerovision and check the streams out as we'll try to get you with games we also have a i believe three baseball games coming up this next week so Coach Dobson and the boys' baseball team. Two next week and then one in the following week. So they're, you know, looking to keep their season going and finish out on a high note. As far as the boys are considered for baseball, they're currently 17 and 10. And there's a handful of games left. Games at home, Piedmont. Capitol Hill, Stillwater, and Lincoln Christian. So a lot of good games remain on the schedule for Broken Arrow. Softball, they closed out their season at home yesterday. It's been a great season for them, but good job. Good opportunity right here for Stillwater. And good save by Haley Allen right yeah, there. Haley just put her body on the field and kept everything alive. Lady Allen with a little shot. Saved by Jalen. So, Correct. good save, save by Haley Allen. Good save by the... The Tigers, and they'll take over here. So 31 minutes and some change remain 
in this contest against Stillwater. Like we said, the boys' game will follow. So stay tuned for that one. That's going to be a good one right there to see. Yeah. I'm hoping senior night we see a lot of goal scoring. I, I love, let's see goal scoring not only because we get the subs to like make the call for the goal, but also to see like the, my friends, my, you know, my people go out there and score some goals. So we love to see that. And hopefully we'll see, have a goal scoring frenzy as we have a goal potentially right here with Morales going. And that's easy stuff right there. Back of the net. Money man herself getting it in there. Just bread and butter. Morales. Simple stuff. Four nil Tigers. So four nothing Tigers. Four different Lady Tigers have found the back of the net. Two headers. One on the leg. And another one with the leg. Yeah, two on, two with the leg. I was drawing a blank there for a second, but many different options for the Lady Tigers. And barring anything crazy, they will go to nine and three on the year. I will say, you know, I'm going to showboat myself. I did. I will say I did kind of call it earlier that Morales would get a goal in the you net. You did. So uh, let's see that come to pass. You know, now we're let, almost down to – we're down exactly at 31 minutes and 24 seconds to go in the second half. So maybe to see a 5 nil game would be beautiful. But, you know, either or whatever happens, we are happy with the outcome because we saw a lot of goals scored and a lot of good stuff from the Tigers. And that's going to be a good pass as she is onside – Wide open, can get a good cross right here. She does, but good defensive job by Hannah Anderson sticking her foot out there. As Lauren Phillips had a good look, but Anderson just stuck her foot out there and said, no, ma'am. As we're down to 31 minutes and some change left in this contest. Fans are getting a little boisterous tonight here at Kirkland. Yeah, I know. Like I said earlier in the stream, she's got to show kindness, man. Just be kind. It Just is kindness. smile week. I said earlier. Good cross right there. Allen's there, but corner kick. Martin just clears that one out. Cleared out well by the Lady Tigers. That one's going to bounce out of bounds. So Lady Tigers will take over. Yeah, Aguilar kind of just took a pass right there. Put a little too much on that left leg, so ended up going straight out of bounds. That's going to be a throw in for the Tigers. Some scores for you. Mustang walloping Capitol Hill 9 nothing. Oh, man, Capitol Hill, too. Oh Piedmont 1 nothing over Moore. Edmond North 3 nothing over Edmond Santa Fe. Edmond Memorial has added two more in the first half. It is now 6 nothing on U.S. Grants. It's an offsides right there. You can't do that. I'm sorry, continue. 2 nothing. Union on top of Sand Springs. Yukon leading Putnam City North 2 nothing. Deer Creek 6 nothing over Eisenhower. So those are the scores that are going on. I believe Enid and Owasso are on the pitch, but they still remain scoreless. So some area scores for you as the Tigers look to add another one here. That one almost going to the back of the net. Shot by Alexis Morales, paired wide by the goalkeeper from the Lady the Fine. shot was just a little wide by Morales. That would have been her second goal of the contest. Man, it is com coming up. Prom is coming up at BAS. We said earlier. I just that's the one thing that's on my mind right now. Do you so. have your suit picked out? Um, no, I just got back from Union's prom um, on on th this Saturday, last wait, Saturday. Wait a minute. You went, to, you went to enemy territory for a different prom? I have so many friends you need. Uh, ball's going to stay here. Lopez is with the shot. Ooh, barely. Oh, it gets it in there. It does go in. Good stuff. That was just like no effort whatsoever. She just shrugged her shoulder. She's like, I'll take that one. That's how easy it was. Give her the goal. Yeah, Put that on the please. stat sheet. Uh, five nil that. Tigers. Uh, so five team. nothing this broken arrows. <laughs> As they are in complete nothing. control of Stillwater, going back to prom. So you went to Union for a prom? Yeah, I have so many friends. That, um, I'm friends like, you know, um, Devon Jordan, Dede, like he's like their four-star corner. He's committed to OU. He's my guy. Um, and, like, I have, a I have a pretty good friend group at Union that I have. Um, we went together, and they do, they do prom pretty well. What um, was the suit choice that you wore? I went all purple. All purple? All I looked, purple. I looked great, I will say, you know. You know, you, you viewers, you said that you don't get to see. I'm about to show off to the people in the 
in the booth. You know, I had my purple. Very nice. You know, so I came out, came out stepping right there. You know, so very nice. You know, you know, yeah. We um, so now this prompt. I'm going to be going with black and a hint of gold. You know, get the black and gold vibes going. I have a date to the BA prom as well. So that's we love to see that as well. Congratulations. We love to see that as well. <laughs> I didn't mean to like rub that in your face or anything like no, that. No, no, I'm a married man. You're good. <laughs> yeah, shout out to that, man. Shout out to all married couples that are watching this stream right now. You guys rock. Hopefully we're going to get six nil Tigers as Casselberry's got it, and she can make something happen right here. As she's going to choose to do so with the volley. Header by Stillwater, so that pulled the Tigers back just a little bit, but they're still on the attack. It's been... Like you said at the start of this contest, all broken arrow. Yeah, just love to see that, man. I mean, it's a lot of a lot of sports in the spring for BA underratedly thrive. You know, baseball is one that always just gets so much like negativity towards, and they're like, oh, they're not that good. But they, they they're always above 500 in district, outside of district. They play really well, although they haven't gotten to the state tournament. I think this is one of the years most of the guys are confident that, that can do so. Good give to Martin. Martin with the shot, and that is six nil Tigers. Goodness gracious. One, two, three, four, five. Now six for Bailey Martin. Beautiful goal right there. Just keep adding on to that score, man. I think just as to what it appears to be, it just it just seems like Stillwater's gassed in the second half. I mean, either that or they just can't handle the claws of the Tigers, some might say. So we just need to be keep dominating right there. Reminds me of, forget the SNL character, spirit hands or spirit fingers, and claws of the tiger. S SNL is like the funniest things I ever do. Like, every, you know, Parker Ryan, then shout out student council president. It's like my, um, my business best friend. Like my, you know, he calls me, um, well, no, nah, I'm not going to say that, but, um, he, we, he, oh, every time we talk about something and make, make a joke about it, he'll talk about, oh, dude, there's an SNL skit that's just like this. Yeah. He always shows me SNL skits. It's the funniest stuff ever, dude. I, I would just be like, dude, this is hilarious. In your yearbook, will it be uh, most likely to be present? What will it say next to your name? Oh, Parker is future president. What's yours? Mine is BA's number one fan. BA's number one fan. Yes, sir. You know, so I, I won that one. Um, I we, we did like a photo, uh, video shoot for Shout out Jasmine Bell. She, what was your senior photo? What do you mean? Oh, like, like well, oh, for the photo, I was, I just had like um, a cornstarch cannon in one hand, like a, a number one thing in my other hand, okay. and a picture. But we did a video over the week, and in the video, I just did, I was doing the Tiger Creed. Dan, do you know Dan? Oh my gosh, do you know the Tiger Creed? I, I, I would like you to explain it to me. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know the Tiger Creed. Dan, this is beautiful. So the Tiger Creed is, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It, it's what's um, we don't have an English teacher in the booth, but what does it mean like whenever like a word like T I G R like whenever it means, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? It's an acronym. So Tiger is an acronym. So it stands gotcha. for tenacious, um, tenacious, integrity, gratitude. Um, what is E? Expectations and respect. Respect. So the Tiger Creek goes like this. Got to put your paw up for one. We do it. Oh, you got to have your right one. But we do it every day in the morning. I'm one. I, I kind of started the trend. But, you know, you say, I am a tiger. I am a tiger. I am tenacious in pursuit of my goals. I am tenacious in pursuit of my goals. I act with integrity and show gratitude in my daily life. I'm not going to remember all that. <laughs> I have high expectations. I have high expectations. For myself and others. For myself and others. And I show respect. And I show respect through my actions and words. Through my actions and words. I am a tiger. Roar. And I, you have like the loudest roar. roar. Huh. Like my first day, um, at like first sen first day is like senior year, I was me and Parker on the announcements and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start roaring when I do this tiger creed on the announcements. Now it's became a trend. At first people called me cringe, they laughed at it, they were embarrassed. Now it's like it's the norm. So you know it's shout out to that. I still think it's cringe too, but I still do it every day. Interesting stuff. So you know that's the Tiger Creed. But... You still do the Pledge of Allegiance too, don't you? Of course we do. It's like it's like a script. Whenever you read it, it's like a script of what you gotcha. do. And then we do we do the Tiger Creed after we do the Pledge of Allegiance and we do um, Oklahoma flag salute. So we like we'll be like um, Pledge of Allegiance, Oklahoma flag salute, and then the Tiger Creed. And then we do that, and then we like to read off the announcements. But you know, as we were talking about that, we did not point out the fact that we have a lot of subs in this game. Um, we still got our starters. It's now 6 0. Um, we got Sanaya Roberts, I believe Trinity Shanahan, Phillips out there, still Martin, Kevin Majica, Morales is still out there. We got Landry Turner. 
Um, 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 it's kind of hard to see all of them. Um, Seth Phillips already. Lila Mars, Haley Allen, and Lily Frey. So that's the way to close out the 11 that are out there on the pitch. To finish out these 23 minutes and 50 seconds because, yes, the clock is ticking. Yeah, Tigers just to put the pedal to the metal this whole game. And they have not let go. All gas, no breaks for the Tigers today. That clear almost was a handball, but I think at this point the refs just might let it go. Yeah, refs probably in his mind just thinking about what am I going to have for dinner tonight because as of right now, it is just that type of game so far. Brooke Dodge going to give that one up to Morales. And she's got a good a good through right there to Turner. Turner's moving up there on that left side, closing in the gap, makes a move. And I think they're going to say, yeah, they're oh, going to say goal oh. kick, actually. I thought it defended off a defender. No, nah, I stand corrected. It's going to be corner. Great. I'm lost. Never mind. Goal kick right there. I thought it might have defended off a defender. I Didn't thought it me. did. But they're just going to say stick with the goal kick. And still watching the maintain possession. Just going to boot that one out of there. But good job by Dodd keeping it up there. Gets it to Majika. Majika with a deep shot. Easy save for Jenkins right there, though. Just had to scoop it up quite literally. Made that one simple. She's going to boot this one out. So 22 minutes left. Roberts hands it off to her teammate, Phillips. Condry. That's Phillips. Oh, that's Phillips. But Jack has got it. Gets it. Gives it to Morales. But Morales' momentum was taking her forward. So Jack did not aim or match it. I, I, you know, knowing Cameron, I, it's, I can't call Majek. I just say Magic all the time. You know, shout out to Cameron Magic. That's Lanny Turner's got it. Just keeping the ball, keeping control of it, taking it back. Just nice and easy. You don't need to do anything too crazy. Phillips has got it. I thought that was um, Coach Pruitt with our pizza. I was going to get really excited. <laughs> That one's going to go out of bounds and be a throw in for the Tigers. Story Hanson's getting ready to check in. Phillips has got a good cross right there. Majak is there, but doesn't get there right in time. Good save for Jenkins. I'll clap that one up since nobody else chose to. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> Just going to boot that one up. But Martin can get this. Dodd with the steal right there. And Morales gets it. Powerful steal right there. She's going to give that one over to Martin. Martin all alone on the corner here. Oh, Dan, I thought your voice was getting better, but now I heard the, heard the cracks. Back to Roberts. Roberts still has control of it. Gives More it to, subs getting ready to come in. Yep, Tori Hanson, Austin Brown, Leah Condry, and Trinity Shanahan. Those four getting ready to check in. Check in, sub in. Whatever you want to call it. Landry Turner's got it. She's going to take a deep strike. A little, not too much on it. A little bit far on that left side. But either way, I think Jenkins was there to save that one. So Subs are ready, getting ready to come in. As Martin's coming, coming out for Henson. Um, Brooke Dodd's coming out for Austin Brown. Shanahan is coming, coming in. Brown. For Haley Henfrey and Leah Condry is coming in for Alexis Morales. Great job, great effort, great stuff from those four girls as they're going to get their well deserved rest as there is now 20 minutes and 15 seconds to go in this match for the Tigers. And Phillips gets in front of that one, but you know, the ball just rolls right over her, her top foot. That's a good good through right there, but I think Haley Allen's going to confidently get that one into her hands and save it. So under 20 minutes to go. You know, all everybody in here, stay tuned for the boys' matchup. As hopefully we'll get the same result at this, at this girls' one and see a lot of goals scored. That would be great to see. And we have not Dan Hawk, no relation, but we have Logan Hawk out there with the camera taking some shots out there. Shout out to Logan Hawk. He's taking a peek out here. Don't know the man too well, but he has a last name Hawk, and all Hawks are great. So, <laughs> Oh, he's taking a picture of us now. Got a pose. If he, if he could zoom in and get that, that's legendary. That would be legendary. That would be great. He's looking at it. We'll get a possible thumbs up of approval. I will say the guy behind him looks like Daniel Cormier. 
I don't know why. I just saw that. I was like, I thought, I don't know. My mind was like, is that, oh, we got to. That is this, that, that gentleman is standing with assistant athletic director, Amanda, Amanda Snyder. Snyder, who just had a baby. Shout out to that, man. You know, I've been to her office. I've met up with her. She's a great person. Um, she always talks to us at football games, so. She's all, and very involved, obviously, at BA, considering that she is athletic, direct, or athletic director, correct? Yes. So assistant. Ass, assistant. Assistant. Yes, that's, yes. Associate director. And Cameron Magic is moving. Leah does a little spin move right there, and she can get it. Fights to keep control of it. She had a John Wall spin move right there. And I will say, Logan Hawk did it. He zoomed in. He got both of us. And, man, that was very nice to see. Austin Brown's got it right here. She can do something. I'd also like to add that we got Mr. Hadley in the photo as well. He's just cheesing, man. He's got the smile on his face, enjoying life. Phillips has got it, takes the shot, and Jenkins, she's been very active today. Very active. Just uh, I mean, letting go six goals, is it, it's not the best, like, menta men mentally, all those things, but considering how active she has been with all the all the balls coming her way, she's done a great job keeping keeping herself ready for most of them. So shout-out to Jenkins just staying ready, staying poised. It's across to Henson. Henson has the speed to get there, and she does. Going to take this one onto the left side, trying to take some ankles. Cameron Magic's got it, but a little too much on much sauce on that enhancement put. We got a couple score updates for you. Mustang and Bishop McGinnis, both winners, both 10 goals in the back of the net. Mustang over Capitol Hill. Bishop McGinnis over Putnam City West, 10 nothing. Yep, 10-0. They got a 7 nothing. Deer Creek on top of Eisenhower. Oh, you know, we got the... And the, in the NBA, JoJo will give you the score here. Lakers are winning against the Pelicans. No, 45-42. to 42. You know, speaking of the Pelicans and the Lakers, LeBron James, of course. We have two big LeBron James fans on this boys soccer team, Alex Morofsky and Jack Hendrickson. Um, their bitmojis on Snapchat are... LeBron James. They call, they sing You Are My Sunshine Every Day. They want me to refer to them as their sunshines. And when I make a call, they would want me to sing You Are My Sunshine, which has recently became LeBron James's song, if you've seen the memes, any of you viewers that have. And that's why uh, Morofsky prefers for me to call him My Precious LeBon Bon. So good way to tie all that, all that good news in together into one short summary for you guys. Now, will you tell me who LeBron James is? I don't I'm just kidding, just kidding, Jojo. Yeah, I wasn't going to fall out for that one, Dan. <laughs> but Jacka with the cross, and Brown's got it. She's going to nice kick that one to Phillips, who gets, who gets hit, gets back up like a warrior. But either way, it's going to be a goal kick for the Pioneers. These are going to sub in some peeps on that side, two for two. As we inch towards 15 minutes to go. And LeBron James just scored. Shout out to him. You know. What's second best of all score time? Score update there? 47 44. He only has seven, seven points, four rebounds, five assists. Russell Westbrook was doing that like first three minutes in the first quarter in his prime, so it's not really much of a flex. It's a good throwing right there. Turner's got it. She was the starter of all this stuff that has happened with her goal being the first goal and as well as her being the assist lady out there providing these corner kicks to get these balls in the net as both of the headers were from corner kicks. So she was a big part of that. So I would say, you know, I know the guys do a, a man of the match, player of the game, and they give them like a jacket and everything. I don't know if the girls do anything like that, but if I were to reward anybody, well, we got a head. Head collision on the far end. Let's take a quick timeout as there's an injured Stillwater player. You're watching Tiger Soccer on Aerovision. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. 
at Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Your side hustle keeps you moving. We'll help you get where you really want to go. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. If you and your family have been waiting for the perfect time to jump into your dream home, it's here. We make buying a new home as easy as it is exciting with quick credit approvals and great rates. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. <laughs> Life happens in a hurry. Our money experts will help you keep up. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. <laughs> and welcome back to the Kirkland Soccer Complex. The injured Stillwater player back up. Subbed out. So with 14.34 to go, it's been all broken arrow. The game will be started with the drop ball. And the game will restart on the drop ball, as you heard our talented PA announcer. And as the ball gets starts, the clock will run. So good thing to see that um, Stillwater play get up on our own power. You know, like I said, we, we talked about earlier on the stream, we, we don't want to ever see injuries happen regardless of the team. So good to see her. Hopefully she stays all healthy and everything turns out good. And, yeah, so that's all that, that I have to say about that as we get to – 14 minutes and 30 seconds left on some astounding soccer to go. Hopefully we can see another goal by some Tigers. That would be awesome to see. 14 minutes remain here. Roberts in front of us. Hansen is streaking down the field. And she can pass it back to Roberts, but she goes to Condry up front. Condry making moves. You know, if you're in the stream, you know, you should actually vote Lane Condry for prom king. Lane Condry and, and Jay Lee Smith, you know, a couple. Shout out to them. You know, Lane's my guy. So you can give him a You're little. You're not up for the vote? I don't want to be. Like, it's, it's. You got too much on your plate, is that what you're saying? No. From running the school. It's not to that. Working at Marshalls. It's that somebody. Serving you food at a local uh, Chipotle. Chipotle. It's that somebody else deserves it. I think a couple does. I think, you know, it's always the couples that deserve it, I would say. So. I would love to see. Now, there's a lot of couples that I, I, I would want. I would want to see you win it. It's a lot of people that I have that are going. Does for the anybody role. wear the old Dumb and Dumber suit anymore at prom? No. Do you even know what I'm talking about? I, I know about the new Dumb and Dumber. I never watched the old Dumb and Dumber. Oh, you haven't lived, Jojo. Well, Dan, I'm just 18 years old, man. <laughs> I'm not an old soul like all of you guys in this booth. What can I say? But you add that spice Ooh, to the booth. That's a good word to. To put it, wasn't my name like Jojo the Magnificent? Is that what it was? Jojo the Magnificent. I, I don't like that name, but it's, that takes us back to our last stream. Oh man, I thought our pizza was coming. Where? What, what the heck? You just reminded me, <laughs> Bruh! I guess Coach Pruitt's cooking the pizza as we speak. Maybe he's just getting us like a whole like a whole pizza. Like a whole, that'd be kind of cool if he did. Twelve minutes remain. Got to Another player down on the Stillwater another, side. Another injured pioneer. So, but she's going to get up. It's Morgan Miller. She gets up on her One own of power. the captains for Stillwater. And she's good to play. And it's worth noting that the clock's still running. I just saw a kid on the Stillwater side wearing a Shohei Otani Shout out to jersey. Greg Spencer. No, shout out to shout out to, to Scammers, or whatever you want to refer it to. I, <laughs> oh, come on. We're not going there on the broadcast. Just kidding. Is, so, if, if, if Mr. Spencer is watching, <laughs> it was all not true, man. What can I say? But... <laughs> That's not the point. We're not here for baseball. We are here for the beautiful sport of soccer that originated in the country of I don't know. So that's why I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I was going to say like Russia or I don't know. I, I was thinking about hockey. I don't know why. I was like, I don't know hockey originated in Russia or Canada. I would assume it was like England. England. I don't know. I knew that. Man. 
And they still haven't won a World Cup in like 40 years. Ouch. Shout out England, though. They got a lot of talent. I know. I'm, I'm a fan of, you know, I'm a Chelsea fan, you know. Stamford Bridge. Dude, I, I wish, Dan, for once year, if I could just commentate like a British or Scottish Broken accent, that'd be so cool. Or if we could, if, you know how. Tell you what, tell you what. If we get our next goal, if Broken Arrow, you can do an English accent for a goal. <laughs> if, if Broken Arrow gets another goal. Let's go, ladies. Let's get a ball in this net, man. Come on now. You know, I'm a big fan of, um, yeah. As the Tigers are cruising right now. S six nothing. Stillwater takes it away. I'm a I'm a huge fan of Ray Hudson's commentary. He's a Scottish man. Um, he's commentating the Champions. He's a great commentator. I love to see him. But you know, I'm always, I'm always jealous of an English accent, man. I, I just wish I was in America, and I, like, and I had an English accent. That'd be so cool. But I feel like in England we're viewed that way. Like if we go to England and we like speak our American accent, they'd be like, what is this? Tigers in the middle. Good job by Magic. Keep the control Stolen of that one. away. She's got a strike. Going to give it to Leah Condry. I got so excited. I was going to, man. But she just hits that one with the. Bottom side of her foot, it just curves a little bit out there, so it's going to be a goal kick for Stillwater. As we're getting towards less than nine minutes and 40 seconds to go in this match. Do you think Mr. Spencer is watching? I actually did, did think about that. I don't know. Just curious if you Stillwater trying to get something going on the far end. Good job by Frey getting in front of that ball, make sure nothing happens. You know, I, I thought we could confidently say this. I think this is like one of the first times I've seen Seawater down here kind of do something productive in a sense. So, yeah, they've struggled most of the contest. Good give from Phillips to Condry. And Turner's got it. Making some moves. Looking for the teammate. She's got Magic down there. Magic's got the speed. She's got the look, got the moves too. She's got it all, and she's got the ball in the net. Goodness gracious, what a loss in the net right there by Common Magic. Was that good? I don't know if that was good or not. Yes, we said it was good. I gave it to you, JoJo. My dream came true. I would have went a little bit more, but you know I didn't want to. You pulled it back. Just I didn't want to. Right I didn't want to overdo it too much, but I felt like the build up of it was nice enough anyway. So seven nil Tigers, and man, it's just. Point blank period dominance from the Tiger side. That's all I'm going to say. I missed uh, an opportunity to call him a Meg, too. I didn't know that a Meg happened, but I did say lash. You know, we had a request from the PA announcer to say that she lashed it in there, and I did pull that one out the cat bag, so. So with 8.35 left to go, barring the craziest miracle in soccer. Oh, no, not even soccer, Danny. In all sports, to be honest, man. Broken Arrow is going to move to 9-3 and three on the year. Cameron Magic getting right in front of that one. She can make some magic happen with her feet if she wants, but Tori Hansen's got it. Hansen. Switching gears, going from right to left, but loses it. And Phillips has got it now. Gives it over to Turner. Oh, my goodness. And that's a little too much a little on there. Wide and out of the mark. Jenkins didn't have to really do much right over there. She just kind of just watch. stood in her spot and chilled out. We've Hold got some subs so coming in. Okay. Two for two deal. Get your best opportunity. As they're coming in to rest their guys, or girls, I should say. And speaking of that, we're just going to give a shout-out to our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Ascension St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Aero Group, and Quick Trip. What's cool about Quick Trip is they serve pizza, which we have not been served. But <laughs> over to Tiger Threads, they are located in the northeast corner of the new event center in the south end zone at Tiger Stadium. It is your go-to for all fan gear. They are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. to the public. The address is 220, 
or 2200 North 23rd Street, Suite 161, and BAPS staff gets discounts. Lucky you guys. And to the Lakers, they're winning 58-44. Yay. Stolen away, Broken Arrow, going the other way now. It's Frey right there putting some moves on Frey her. Frey pushing her defender. She's taking it herself. I want to see a strike right here. But good gift to Condry. She's on side, too. I think Condry just needed to slow it down right there. Had plenty of time to set her footing and set up an easy shot to the back of the net. But I think she just went too quick in a lot of ways. Yeah, I know we always talk about mercy rules, 10-0, or you could set like 5-0 and you should stop. But, I mean, this is good practice to get yourself ready and prepared for what's coming up, playoffs, you know what I mean? Even if you, if it may seem like you're, like, running up the score, doing things of that nature, whatever it is, stuff like that. I mean, Condry, that's a good way to get her, to get those repetition of getting those shots in game, good stuff like that. So it's always good to see that, you know, effort still being played, even though it is 7-0 and you're running the score, whatever it is. Just got to get your reps, you know what I mean? That's what it comes down to. Everybody starts off as playing last minute, like five minutes to go. So that's where they build That's where they build their character, build their, their effort, their stride, whatever it is that they're wanting to, to get towards. You know, it always starts little, and then you get to the big stuff. So, And that happens only if you put the, little, the, the big effort into the little things. So good thing to see the Tigers still putting effort out there with – five with less than 530 to go and you kind of mentioned it earlier but coach Embry has put in the rest of her subs so plenty of time for some underclassmen to get some extra reps to kind of get them juiced and ready for what's ahead of them with the playoffs yeah it's coming near so we're going to need every single thing that we can get when it comes to depth of the bench and everything like that it's a good give and go from Condry to Turner. Turner's got magic, magic feet, but she gives that pass away. Stillwater's gonna get it. I would say I wouldn't be mad at seeing Stillwater go right here. You know, from what from the effort they've been putting in, they've been through a lot of injuries. I would not be mad at seeing a a, a goal. In all honesty, but I'd also be more happy with a Tiger goal. As Cameron Magic steals that one. She she has a lot of open teammates. She's gonna hold on to it herself. Gives it over to Phillips. Phillips has Tori Hansen on the cross, and she has the speed to get there. Almost beats out two people, and she does, but she's not in time. It's just going to get that one out of there, and that's going to be a throw-in for Robert, the Tigers. And it's going to go to Roberts. It is. Dan, are you more of a pepperoni, cheese, or sausage guy? I think we should not take matters in our own hands. I like anchovies. Oh, no, no way. Please, no way, Dan. Dan Hawk, Dan Hawk, Dan I, Hawk. I don't like anchovies. Oh, thank goodness. I, if anybody in this booth likes anchovies, oh. oh. My favorite's actually mushroom pizza. Well, that's not, mushrooms aren't horrible. I'm On just pizza, kidding. it's like weird, but like mushrooms in itself. No, like, I, like, I like the veggie style pizza okay. with, with some meat. Um, my, more of a Canadian bacon kind of guy. Do you guys think that pineapple belongs on pizza? No. Oh, a lot of aggressiveness happening out here as these two are getting into it. And the ref is just going to just shut it down. Just let it be. Sarah, Sarah Wolford. Sarah Wolford and Lily Frey getting into it. As we're down to 3.13 to go in this game. <coughs> is a hot dog a sandwich, JoJo? Ooh. Yes, because what else would it be? It's a good point. In between two pieces of bread. I've like, been told that as long as it's in between two pieces of bread, it's a sandwich. Well, I mean, yeah, I would say it is because if it, if not, then what is it? Just a hot dog? Like, what do you call it at that point? Does, does everybody in, in the in the booth agree with that take? Oh. Mr. Hadley, do you agree that a okay. hot hot dog's a sandwich? Okay. Is water wet? Yes. Okay. Ch chicken or the egg? What came first, JoJo? We're just talking like crazy stuff. Oh, and Cameron Magic's going to spice up the talk with the potential goal. And she does, literally just like that, spiced up the talk Cameron with, the with another this goal. 8 0. No English accent for oh, that goal? No, I thought, I thought it was only for. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, I let you guys down. 
<laughs> so the Tigers now make it 8 nothing on Stillwater. And now we're just flat at 2.16 to go. And four goals in each half of play. A good evenly shared distributed amount between these two teams. As Cameron Magic's going to end with two goals. Hey, give her the hat trick. Who says no? I don't. Let's get a third one in the net. The energy level out of Stillwater has been evaporated. Very much so. I don't know what they were intending. I mean, they just, like, just stood yeah, there. Yeah, they've slowed way down on their end. You know how, like, um, recently, like, on the Instagram post, they've been posting, like, the our calls. That's like, oh, Cameron Majaga's got an opportunity. She's going to pass that one unselfishly, but they're going to say offsides. The flag goes up. That yeah, was close, though. Yeah. Cameron Majaka, very unselfish. You know, I feel like if I was in that in that role, I would have taken it myself. I'd be like, hey, I'm going to take that one. I want a hat trick. She gave that one up to Leah Condry. That's some good teammate chemistry. That's a good look right there. Putting, you know, we over me. Shout out to BA Boy Basketball and Coach King for that one right there because that was a good example of we over me. So the Tigers are going to improve to 9-3. and three. Tigers are going to win, improved to 9-3 and three with this 8-0 victory over Stillwater. They will host Ponca City coming up on Friday for Senior Day. And I do see some Gatorades coming up here, but I don't see any pizza, Joe. Oh, no. man, my heart is breaking. Coach Pruitt with the assist coming to the press box for his two favorite announcers. We, we, do, we greatly appreciate the thirst quencher, but I know for JoJo, he was really craving that pizza. It's okay. So. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a purchase it anyway. I was intending on, so it'll still happen. <laughs> I will munch on some pizza before the night ends today. Tori Hansen putting some moves on her, keeps her balance too. The boys' game will follow with 20 seconds remaining oh, in this yeah, one. That's what I was saying, Dan. You know, like on recent Instagram, have they been posting like? Our calls as like the instead of like an, a graphic of the post. Yes. Are they going to post every single one of these calls? Because that's a lot. Of, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of talking in one in one post. But they will get to hear an awesome British accent too. So. They will. And that'll do it. Broken Arrow that's winner, eight nothing over Stillwater. Broken arrow they improved to nine and three on the year, three and two in the district. The boys' game will follow coming up next. Stay with us on AeroVision.
And welcome to Kirkland. Boys soccer getting ready to go against Stillwater. Broken Arrow 12 and 1, 5 and 0 oh in the district. Stillwater 6 and 5, 2 and 2 in the district. BA is first in the district overall. Stillwater is fourth overall. BA also 9 and 1 against 6A teams. Total match is 13. And they're 12 and 1 overall. Last 7 days they went 3 and 0. Oh. Right, here's the starting lineup. Here's your starting for lineups. Pioneers. Number for the Stillwater zero, Pioneers. Tristan Anderson. Number four, Griffin Conley. Number seven, Ethan Lee. Number 18, Case Williams. Number 28, Corbin Phillips. Number 16, Colt Campbell. Number 17, Eli Henderson. Number five, Brody Long. Number 10, Graham Palmer. Number 11, Diego Ortega. And number 14, Ryan Brasti. Teachers inspire, motivate, and dedicate their lives to helping students succeed in the classroom and community in the effort to say thank you and to show our tiger gratitude. Senior soccer players select teacher, select a teacher to wear an away jersey at each home soccer game. This season, tonight's Tiger Gratitude teacher of the game is Casey Pepworth. She was selected by senior soccer player Cameron Pepworth. Be sure to say thank you to all of our teachers for the investments they make in BA students' lives. Now for the Broken Arrow starting lineup. Number one, Evan Boss. Number three, Jack Hendrickson. Number four, Jack Irvine. Number six, Cameron Pebler. Number seven, Joshua Ingoye. Number 10, Mario Naranjo. Number 13, Ben Osborne. Number 14, Alex Morofsky. Number 19, Tristan McLaughlin. Number 20, Marcus Gibbons. Number 22, Charlie Baker. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Broken Arrow Public Schools, Superintendent Chuck Perry, Executive Director of Athletics, Dr. Ju uh, Dustin Smith, and BA High School Principal, Crystal Barber, we would like to welcome you to the Kirkland Activities Complex for tonight's soccer match between the Stillwater Pioneers and your Broken Arrow Tigers. Now at this time, we ask you to stand and remove your hats, and that all veterans and current military men and women, in or out of uniform, salute the flag of the United States for the national anthem.
And Broken Arrow hosting Stillwater. Second to final match of the season. We'll have senior night on Friday night with Ponca City. I'm a very happy man. And JoJo David is my color analyst for this second game tonight. I got my pizza, guys. He got his pizza, so he's in high spirits now. And I'm also munching a Twix. So, you know, it's a good lineup for today. Not only do we have a good lineup of foods, we have a good lineup of games as we're going into the second match with the Tigers matching up against the men's Steelwater Pioneers team right here. And um, a lot of the guys have been telling me that they will score. Some specific guys out there have told me to expect a goal from of them. So I am expecting to see a ball in the net by these specific players, and I hope to see that happen. So I'm very excited for this game. We have 80 more minutes of soccer for today. 80 more minutes. <clears throat> we'll try to keep tabs on other scores around the area. As the Tigers all blacks, baby blue tops for Stillwater with white bottoms. I love the mix of yellow and baby blue, man. Such a beautiful mix. Outside of black and gold, it's one of the best mixes. Oh, never mind. Pink and blue. That Miami Vice colors, top tier. Miami Vice. Yep. Josh and Goy getting warmed up, getting the hips moving, the legs moving, and we are off to start the pitch off with the captain man, Cam Peb. Tigers starting off strong, but Tigers trying to go off quickly on Stillwater. That's a good, easy, easy save right there by Stillwater. Off to Tristan Anderson with the easy save. Just had to put his hands out there. Ball's on the Tiger side. Tea time. Had it. Now CB22, Charlie Baker, the music man. With it, and they're gonna make that one a goal kick. Gonna have a goal kick for the Broken Arrow Tigers. Jack Attack, JH, Jack Hendrickson, or My Sunshine. Starting us off strong, and then Givens gives it off to Naranjo. He's also got the Sunny D shoes on, and that would have been a bad opportunity for Ty I mean, now Stillwater's pushing. Easy save for E Boss right there. Just put his hands out there. Got Easy piece of lemon squeezy. Good save and right there. And that's the first shot on goal on Steelwater's side. Shocking way to start it off. And the Tigers looking to have the clean sweep of Stillwater. If you just joined us, the Lady Tigers were victorious 9 nothing over the Lady Pioneers. So 9? It was, it was 8 or 9? It was 9. Dang. One goal away from total submission. Uh, that would have been cool to see. Good trap by Givens and um, Naranjo getting over there, kind of taking like a two-man action onto it. But now it's still in Stillwater's feet, not hands. But Stillwater has struggled against 6A teams this year. They're 3-4, and 1-0 and against 5A and 1-0 and against 4A teams. This district play is so weird to me. It is very wild. Because it's like you play because they're 5A. That should be an offsides, but they're going to good call by the ref right there. Notice if he was offsides. As I could see that from, from a far away that he clearly was. And Ebos is going to joke around, try to take a, a fake deep shot, but he's going to keep it on this side. Some back and forth play. Jack Irvine getting it over to, to JH. And that sun settled rather quickly after the girls game. Little bit of wind. Actually, considerable amount of wind. It's blowing directly in the face of the Tigers. Stillwater's doing a great job making their offensive guys play good defense because so far, the Tigers have not made it out of this area yet. Until just now, they're kind of getting a breakthrough, but beforehand, it wasn't really too much. Good job by Givens closing that gap. Good moves right there. 
getting it inside, but now Stillwater gets it right back. But Irvine's going to try and get there. Good job by Irvine getting in front of that one. Pitcher perfect off defense. Creating offense, I should say. And Stillwater's playing really strong and fast to start it off. Tigers defense is helping us out, but offense hasn't really had much going on for him. As in Goy takes that one off the chest. African Prince over to Alex Morovsky, my precious LeBonbon. Taking it down the field. He's going to cross that one over to Givens. Just going to reset, get it over to Ben Osborne. A, a hidden gem on this Tiger team. He gets it to Givens, but Givens hit it a little too much on that touch, and he ended up losing it. It's going to go out and just be a throw in for the Tigers. Good fast start right now for the Tigers and Stillwater for both teams, I will say. You know, in the last game we broadcast with UConn, learning about their mascot, do we know why it's the Pioneers, JoJo? We don't. History lessons with Dan and JoJo, part two. <laughs> Let's make it happen. We'll need Blake Shy, our uh, investigative reporter, to give us the background as to why they're the Pioneers. You would think they'd like to, I don't know. My prediction, it has, it has something to do with the land run from something in like 1989. It's just a wild guess. Or 1889, that's what I meant to say. But just a wild guess. We're just going to look it up and see what it says, though. Eighteen eighty nine. So was my prediction correct? Prediction was correct. That was all me, man. No, nobody else. Just off the top of my head. Shout out Blake Shy. Good defensive play right there. I don't know who it was on Stillwater, but they had a perfect slide tackle on Morowski. No contact, just got right in front of it. But that's going to be a turnover for them, and Osmond's going to keep control of it. Tigers are looking to move to 6-0 and in the district. It's a handball hand ball right there by Diego Ortega. They've had a pretty special pretty season, pretty just the ball. one loss on the year. A little too much on there by Cam Pebworth. If we go back to Cam Pebworth, man, the one time that he put a little too much on that ball on that far end, he got a goal in the net that was crazily unexpected. So we can see that happen again today. And for all basketball fans out there, Lakers are sadly winning against the Pelicans, 75-57. But yeah, no so. surprise there in the NBA. Sadly. Good yep. moves right there. You know, we were kind of discussing JoJo, the last loss for Broken Arrow. Their only loss was in the beginning of March against Bishop Kelly, and that was in overtime. That was... I, I, I think I, I was here for that game. That was a crazy game. Um, shouldn't have turned out the way it did. I mean, like the. But outside of that game, the Tigers have played some beautiful, beautiful soccer all season. I mean, this boys team, they can definitely make a run to go to the state championship and, in fact, win the whole thing. Um, they were dang near close last year, so I think they can definitely go, go back there. But just a different outcome and actually win it at this time. So, and it's hard to believe, but if you look at Bishop Kelly. They're second from the bottom in District 6A4 at 3-8, and 1-4. and four. So it just tells, a, tells you how crazy the soccer season could go because, you know, that 1-0 overtime victory over Broken Air, you would assume that they would have a winning record on their end, but they do not. It just shows. I mean, like a lot of times there's like some upsets and anything has happened. So, you know, not always is that, that big dog team going to end up winning. You know, it kind of takes me back to – I think it was, I don't know what year, 2007, 2008, some of that time. The Dallas Mavericks faced off the Golden State Warriors. They were the one seed, 60-plus wins, insane season. Ended up losing first round of the playoffs, and that would have been their year to win the finals. So it kind of just shows, I mean, like a lot of times that big dog team can fall to the, to the little dog team unexpectedly. 2007, I just got that, um, got that verified with me. But, you know, it just kind of shows that. And we do have some Mavs fans in here. And hopefully if you're a Mavs fan watching, I'm very sorry. But 
You're about to lose to the Clippers again, too. But let's get to the other sport that has to do with some balling, and that is soccer. As Osborne passes it off. To T Charlie Baker, I should say. It is just another day for Charlie Baker. Another shameless plug to his song, Another Day, released about a month ago. Go stream it. You know, um, at the pep assembly we had, um, pep assembly last Friday, um, I got to be a part of a rap battle. Um, we did like a, a, a lip sync battle, I should say. What song? Um, I had five songs. I don't remember off the top of my head. My first song was, um, uh, it was some song. It's by a rapper named Sexy Red. Her name is that is that is her name, her rapper name. Um, I forgot. I think the the, the song name is yeah, it's sexy. But that's. That was the first song. Um, I had Love by um, Keisha Cole. You guys would know that one. That was a good class. You know, Set It Off by Boosie. You okay. know, so had some good ones. But after the after the whole thing, I talked with the soccer guys, and I was like, oh, my goodness. I could have put Charlie Baker in this lip sync battle. You could have? And I didn't. So I sold the clip, but it's okay. That was just something cool that came out of all this, and I just like – Thought of that, so and Charlie Baker. I mean, coming back, I forgot what game it was specifically, but he has one man of the match. He's played great defense, and that's just good. Good take right there by the Tigers, but they're going to end up losing. A good defense right there by Stillwater to match their offensive power. Already ten minutes have passed. Both teams remain off the board. Stillwater going in the middle. Good ball movement by them, but Tigers are staying in front of everything. Good job by Osborne, but he's still got control of it. It's Ortega. Tigers are doing a great job closing that gap. Uh, give, him a, give him a round of applause right there. Givens is switching that defensive mindset to an offensive mindset. Putting some moves on the ball himself. And he sends it up to his teammate, Nagoy. He's just going to turn. Go a full 360, but Nagoy's got it. And it stays... They're yeah. letting it play. Good call right there. Good give, but barely goes right past the foot of Naranjo, and that's going to be a goal kick. So we got Coach Smoker and Coach Unk down there. I don't know if that's his, I don't know. I forgot what Coach. Um, it's, yep, Coach, Coach, um, Car Coach Betts, Coach Garland. That is the coach that they call Unk. They love him. The team loves him. I think it's the first year on the staff this year, but they're all a huge fan of him. Under 30 now. Time's moving by fast. Sun's coming down. Very windy, very nice weather, about 76, 77 degrees. It's beautiful stuff out here. Hopefully it's not like this all night. You know, we've been through a lot of times where it's like hot and then it gets cold. Osborne's got it. He's going to cross this one. But nobody there, sadly. And it's just going to go straight over there for a, for a throw in for Stillwater. And like I said, I was talking about the weather earlier. 76 degrees right now. It's really nice out there. Hope it doesn't get too cold. We never want to see that happen. But 12 minutes into this game, and it's a pretty good one so far. And only one scorer to report for you. Mustang and Capitol Hill. It's 1 1 in the first. Everything else is still scoreless. Header by tea time, and it's going to just stay. It's going to stay still. Water ball. He just heads that one in, back in that area. And Morosi got in front of that one. Irvine had it, makes some moves, gets to Cam Pebb. Pebb's going to cross through that one to Osborne. He's got a big leg. He's got some guys that are calling for it, too. But gets it to Givens. Givens to Osborne. Osborne back to Givens. Good ball stuff right here. But good save right there by Tristan Anderson. I mean, Givens had a lot of opportunities. He could take it in the shot, to take it in the pass. He takes the shot right there. Good choice, but Anderson right there to easy save that one. Yeah, that was a beautiful setup by a broken arrow. Anderson just there to pick it off. But that could have been a goal for Broken Arrow and an early lead in this contest. Yeah, Baker unintentionally heads that one over to Eboss. So Eboss just picks it up, rolls it over to Jack Attack, who you can also vote for Prom King because him and his girlfriend are running. So you'll vote for them as well. 
Good job getting his foot out, foot out there was Jack Irvine. Another one of those unsung heroes on that midfield position. It feels like a lot of times in soccer, the midfield position, the center defensive mid, the center mid, they're just the unsung heroes of soccer. They don't really get much attention because they're kind of in the middle of it all, playing offense and playing defense. But, man, the art of what they play is truly special. And, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I always give credit to Irvine and Osborne because those dudes play some great soccer. I mean, Osborne's on that right back position, so but he can move up there and play a lot of a lot of that midfield striker position. So it's just, you just love to see like that, those guys who are just like can play wherever, whenever they're needed. It's kind of like having a big man who can shoot the three, or having a football guy that plays both sides. That's right. Or having a hockey person who. A hockey person, uh, yeah. I, just, 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 I wanted to be, I wanted to be inclusive of all sports, but sadly for me, I don't know enough about hockey. Good folly right there by Irvine, but Mirage doesn't get there in time. Or like being a Shohei Otani and can pitch that ball, pitch it and can hit it. There's a lot of examples you could use for that. 25 minutes remain here in the first half. CB22 is down there. It's a great job right there getting that off the Stillwater, Stillwater player. Throwing. It's going to be a throw in for the Tigers because of that. Smoker's coaching him up right there. He's got some things to say. Very... Very needed, I would say. I feel like going into this game, you know, a lot of the a lot of the Tiger players told me that this would be a pretty good match for them and be biased towards their side. But it seems to be pretty even so far. So Tigers need to probably kind of just turn it to the way and, like, don't end up being, you know, hypocrites of their own word. And as I said, that's a good ball to Morofsky. He's in front of it, too. But yeah, Nagoy back, gets there. Yeah, he was trying to toss it back to Nagoy. But Nagoy was covered pretty heavily. Yeah, he had three guys all over him. So Morofsky did the best that he could, and it's a great job. He's going to give that one over to Naranjo. Naranjo with a deep shot. A little bit outside of that Naranjo inside box. It's going to be a goal kick for Stillwater. Yeah, he was trying to sneak that one in. Unable. So 24 minutes remain. And it'll be a goal kick. For the Pioneers. Dan, I just want to go on stream and say I'm sorry. I've been eating the Twix, and I forgot to give you one. You ate it all? Yeah, I have, like, this piece left. I'm sorry. I just remembered that, actually. Like, just now, I was like, dang it. I was, it's all right. I was, it's okay. Thank you, Dan. On Friday, I'll repay you back <laughs> with my free Twix. I had no idea that we that was an opportunity, but Ngoy's got it. Nagoy gets, gets pushed hit. to the ground. Stillwater player losing his foot footing in the process. He lost a shoe, actually. He lost, lost a whole cleat. Yeah, he did lose a cleat. Thank you for correcting me. You know, as much as I'd that say it. Case Williams. Tigers, take advantage of that, man. He's got one shoe. He's still with one shoe. And he's in the middle. What a guy. You know, Russell Westbrook did that, too, I remember, in, in a game. Um, he, played, he actually, like, with one shoe, he shot a three. Oh, what's the guy? Is it Mike Miller? Mike I'm, Miller did it. Yeah, as Mike well. Miller on the Heat. Yes, 2013 Spurs Heat. Case Williams putting back on that shoe. Nope. Oh, he's still holding it. Still holding it like a football. He's just getting ready to get it in there. He's trying to unlace it. Really, be commentating on this man putting on a shoe. Legendary stuff, right still here. Still no shoe. He's gonna use. Don't know. He's, he cannot use it as a weapon. What? This is. This is. Where do you see this? That should be a call and a no call as he clearly got clipped. And Stillwater Stillers. going the other way. Uh oh, but Tigers do a great job staying forward. And I will say, he still does not have his shoe on. This is some good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Update on Case Williams near midfield. Still no shoe. He's trying to lace it. Now he's trying to slip it back now on. Now it's in the foot. Good stuff right there. Good technique. Putting the shoe right in that left foot where it needed to be. But the, sho the shoelaces are still not tied. Untied. Shoe is on. No tie on the shoelaces. He's probably just going to tuck the laces. And that's what I used to do. He's got time to tie it. Will he? He will not. He's going to walk it he's out. He's thinking about it. William's thinking about it. Next to Nagoy. 
Still thinking about it. Could have time to tie it in. Missouri. He's going to tie it. He ties it finally. With 21.55 on the clock. Getting down on one day to tie that shoe. Good technique. He's going to double bunny ear or one? I think he went double. Saving a little bit of time. Triple, triple bunny ear for Case Williams. He's probably going to double knot it too. Got to get that extra, extra tightness on the ankle. And he's back. At full strength. You guys came here to watch soccer. No. You came here to watch a guy tie his shoe. 21 minutes remain. Like I said, if you could bet on high school sports, there's probably like some crazy bettors would be like, oh, one person's going to like lose their shoe. Just made a million dollars if they were to bet on that. Cam Peb's got it. Peb trying to kick it in to Nagoy, but that pass was way off the mark. Easy save right there for Anderson. I think it deflected off a defender, so ended up just staying on that side. So just took a sip out of the, the power in. I was provided by Coach Pruitt. The C Coach Pruitt. Yes, sir, the Coach Pruitt. Irvine's there. That's a nice little spin move John Wall style, but doesn't stay on his feet. We might have a Dan does fall camp this, oh, no way. this season for football. No way. <laughs> Are you going to put pads on? And there's a lot of aggressiveness right there. They're going to call I've, that one. I've never had a full pads on, so really? this could be a first. Were you ever did you, were you, Weren't you a catcher? In, I played baseball. Were you a catcher? No. Oh, okay. I was, gonna say. I was left handed, right fielder. Okay. However, I feel like if I did fall camp for a Dan Does stuff, Coach Pro would put me through the ringer. Oh, you're going to have to go online, man. Two, I'd do two a days, lifting and the whole thing. Yes, put them put them against Ricky Fernandez. Put oh. them both on the line. A whole week of what it's like to be a high school football player. It's not fun. Would I make the week or would I quit the team? That's I, th the question. I think you would make it. Well, do you uh, no. do you like do you like to stay active a lot of the times nowadays? Like, do you like to like go out there? Excuse me, and do stuff. It's a good cross right there, but easy, easy e, e boss in there. Well, if you're assuming that I use my AARP card, no, I do not, JoJo. I'm still still getting after it. Givens making some moves. Just gets it back to Osborne. I think that could be a fun segment. Dan does fall camp for a week. <laughs> but by the end of that week, JoJo, you got to admit, I would be in the best shape of my life. I'd probably lose 20 pounds. Wow. But I probably wouldn't be able to walk for the rest of the year. Well, I... You know, it's all about you know, it's all about the experience. Do it for the content, man. Do it for the content. You know, there used to be a trend in like 2017, 2018. It would be hashtag, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag send it. Just hashtag send it, Dan. Hashtag send it. The Hawkeye would do it. Do you think I could get Coach Pruitt to do it with me? Oh, no way. That would be I, – I, I don't see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now with the lift, he would definitely do it with you. I oh, see Pruitt yeah. over there lifting. Osborne gets that one to We're Naranjo. supposed to be lifting together. I've been Ooh. slacking it. I've been doing it solo. Naranjo's making something happen with Naranjo. his feet. He's got magic feet, but gets kind of bottled up by Case Williams and his shoe. Man, Case Williams is already a legend in this. And we've got a lot of guys getting ready to, to check in. We've got Noah, or uh, we got... Um, Jeremiah Rosinski, Derek well. Roberts, Javi Magales, Hector Ochoa, and Chen Yilo. And that is all that's going in for the Tigers today. We've got a whole other set of guys coming in. It's a corner kick. Tigers still got control. Naranjo's got it. Take a shot. Oh, pass it and go. Man, he had that one. Could have been his bread and butter with that goal. He was one of the guys that he was going to score today, so we'll have to see that one, but Easy save right there for Anderson. And Stillwater's got a 1v4 going on right here, but he's going to wait for his guys to pull up. Cam Peb's got it. Does a great job just clearing that one out of there. Getting it over to Alex Morovsky, the Argentinian man. My guy. That's going to be a good steal right there by Stilly. He's going to take a deep shot, but too much on that one. It's going to go way one high up. It's going to be an easy goal kick right there for E-Boss. And it'll be a sub-in opportunity for Broken Arrow. Coming in. Hector Ochoa. 
Derek Roberts, and Jeremiah Rosinski. Yep, Morosky and Goy, Irvine coming out of the game. Ben Osborne still in though. He normally plays both halves on the pitch. Yeah, Osborne, uh, Osborne, and, and Hedrickson. Most of the, those are the guys that really stay out there, and and Cam Pebworth as well. And obviously, obviously, E. Boss, but being the goalie, it's expected. So. T time got that one. Just feeds it over to to, to CB two two. Do you know why they call it a pitch, Jojo? I actually do not. So educate me. We don't even need Blake Shy for this one. As Stillwater trying to score on the other end. Ochoa and um, Henderson do a great job just closing in that area. So this is why they call it a pitch. It's actually because of cricket. Oh. which plays on a field called a pitch. Many early soccer games were played on cricket fields. Interesting. And people say you don't learn anything from watching TV, or watching YouTube, I should say. You guys just learned something. Was cricket invented before soccer? I would assume it was, if that's like what the... Well, we'll, we'll ask... Uh, Rosinski's got it, making moves. Hold on with his feet. Javi's got it. Gets it back over to Hendrickson. He can cross this one as he does. Ooh, that ball's up in the air, and that's going to be a corner kick. Good cross by Jack Hendrickson. Headed clear. Out for a corner kick for the Broken Arrow Tigers. So 15th century for cricket. Goodness gracious. Wow. So since... since before before Christopher Columbus even pulled up to the United States of America, <laughs> these guys were playing cricket. It's likely older. They probably kicked a rock back then. 1878 for soccer. Tea time just resets that back over to Campet. He can make it from there. He's going to cross it. Trying to go for the long ball. Ball still in the air and it's going to most of it go towards Stilly. Good job getting in front of the Tigers and Cam Pep. She's going to send it back over to CB22. And Ochoa's got it. Wearing the 2 3, the numbers of the GOATs, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Not LeBron James, by the way. <laughs> Cam Pep's got that one. Is that NBA game final yet? Um, it's about to the fourth quarter is what I'm hearing, and I'm not sure what the score is, but we're about to find out soon. As it is 83-76, Lakers. Hey, a little bit of a shift. It was about like a 15, 17-point game earlier, so now we're cutting it down low, so in a good way. Hector Arto has got to guess it over to Camp Peb. Peb's going to send it over to that right side where Osborne, Osborne is. He's going to send this one through, and that was a good opportunity for Rosinski. Good steal by Lowe. Another good cross into the box. Defended well by Stillwater. Good. E-Boss is way out there, by the way. He's just vibing, bro. He got nothing else to do. He's just coming out there. He's going to test the waters a little bit, step out of his comfort zone. It's going to be a goal kick. Big boot right there. It's going to just go over to tee time. He's just going to head that one out of that way. Is that going to the roads? It is on the roads. Is it going to get ran over? It's just going over to the house next by. As no cars are in the area. Interesting sight to see. So looking for a ball. And they get one. So I have a question for you about prom jojo do they do it in the in the field house or is it at an event center where is prom held it is at the renaissance renaissance by woodland hills mall right by that's where union had it too so we just ended up limo or do you drive yourself um no me personally no i haven't i ain't got a limo for that but do some people take limos? Some people, they don't. No, nobody ever gets a limo. They just like rent out like a Hellcat or a, or a Bugatti stuff like that. They just say they rent it out, or they just have a friend. Wait a minute, hold, hold on, hold on. 
A Bugatti? Yeah. Man, high school kids get paid these days. Oh, no, they, they, it's just it's parents' money. Or they just have a friend. They just have a oh. good strike right there, but. Off the mark. Yeah, some people, like, they have, like, like for some union part, like, um, my homeboy, he ended up, like, he just had a Hellcat because, like, somebody, like, offered it for him. Some people just have, like, connections most of the time. It's not always that money. Well, I know history teachers, they, uh, they can afford those Bugatti lifestyles and lifestyles of the rich and famous. If they get a life coach, anything is possible. Financial <laughs> coach. You know, I, we got some giggles in the booth right now. So gonna, Stillwater's going to sub out. I think they're subbing now, and I'm not sure who it is. I think it was Griffin Con. I don't know who. I'm not sure who it was, but. Just getting some fresh legs out there as so they take another boot. Javi's got it. Just going to keep calm, control it, and gets it over to Ochoa. Ochoa to Osborne, and they can make something happen. Sends right it here. in the middle. Javi's got the speed. It hits. Ooh. That was inches off the mark, JoJo. That's Ch Chen Li Lo with the shot. A rattler in the crowd. Dude, those things are so cool. So, uh, uh, the environment of soccer, especially like, you know, regular season might not be, but playoff time is when it gets really interesting. And we got some 6 a boys soccer score checks for you guys. Mustang at Capitol Hill is up 3-1. Union at Sand Springs, still nil-nil. Admin North at Santa Fe, nil-nil. You know, we got a lot of nil-nils out there, but Southmore at Jinx is 1-0. Bixby at Northwest Classen, some new school. They're winning 1-0. You and then that's all that we have score wise. Everybody else is still at zero zero, nil nil, whatever you want to call it. So, as well as us. I'm just gonna give a shout out to our one club sponsors. We almost had. I think it's a corner kick. Um, first National Bank of Broken Arrow, Ascension St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. And then shout out to Tiger Creds, Tiger Threads. Visit Tiger Threads at 220-00 North 23rd Street, Suite 161 for all your fam gear needs, needs. Located at the northeast corner of the new event center in the south end zone at Tiger Stadium. Open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. with additional discounts for BAPS staff members. It's going to be a corner kick for Stillwater. Kicking that corner kick. Will be Ortega. Diego Ortega. It's a good looking one right there. Good job right there. I think it was Javi who ended up kicking it out of that area. Could have been really dangerous. Yeah, good defense by Broken Arrow. And he tries to go for the give and go, but Javi just fighting out there. Little man's got heart, man. Short Kings stand up. And that's going to be. That's going to go bounce out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for BA after that, that hard fought effort from Javi Magales. You can't, you can, you can't teach size, can't teach effort, and he just shows some of that out there. So good stuff right there by him. So Osborne's going to try to get that one to Hector or Cho, and he, or Paint Camp Perbeth, excuse me, who gets it to, to low, but he puts a little too much on that one trying to get it to Javi. Yeah, if he would have just slowed that down a little bit, Javi could have went all the way to the net. Rosunski providing that pressure, but. And he does that very well. As Lowe's got it. He's got guys down there, too. He's going to feed that one to the other side to Osborne. tea time. No, oh, it is tea time, yes. Looks tea like time Osborne. to Roberts. Keeps it in, barely, but too much momentum on his body. Keeps pushes him forward. And that's back to Stilly's feet, I should say. But tea time, moving like a ticking time bomb, man. Living up to the name with that speed that he's got. And gets right back in his defensive spot immediately. He's going to pass that one to Casper the Ghost as Tigers now have possession of it once again. <coughs> Ochoa's got it, but gets speed out, beat out a little bit with the speedy man himself. Feras Alzire. Good move right there by the, by the player, but I think Charlie Baker's going to get there before anybody else. And they're going to say that one went out, so... Henderson cleaning up the through ball, but can't keep it in. Stillwater, Stillwater trying to voice their side, but 
it will stay with them. This is a really close game. I mean, we came in unexpectedly. We did not think that. So it's kind of a challenge for the Tigers. I mean, we kind of talked about that big dog, little dog comparison of how the Tigers did lose to, to Bishop Kelly and they were in the team that you would expect us yeah, to. Yeah, back on March 8th. Yeah, so that's kind of like what could possibly happen here. So we just got to make sure to not let that happen and just get a ball in the net to play, to call it, call it, you know, kind of just keep that momentum on the side. That's clean right there. He hit the ball before anything. But they keep possession of it. He's going to take a shot. No need for Ebus to touch that one. That's going to be an easy goal kick. We've got some subs coming in. We've got Bryce Acosta, the freshman, Hama Lama, Killian Hama, the junior, and Angel Didios, two goals last game. The freshman himself. We've got two freshmen coming in for the Tigers. Starting varsity in a pretty big game. So that's, that's, that's some good stuff to see. So six minutes remain here in the first half. Both teams haven't really got much of an edge on one another. Hamalama's got it. Just feeds that one to Didios. On hell, Angel. Working it. And on hell. Comes oh my, that's a lot of physicality right there. Still water. Good strong tackle. Ball goes up to still water. Leading their case for a second, but it didn't really matter. They get the ball right back. Yeah, Rosinski's a physical guy, man. I said it before on this stream, but he is a large guy. He, Definitely, he, he lifts a lot. You know, sometimes when we're just walking past the halls, he'll have a tennis ball on his feet and just dribbling a tennis ball around school. Like, he just does wants, that all day long. Yes. He he did muscle ups all the time at Baffa. Like, he's just, he just wants to stay active. I mean, you love to see a guy like that. Now, why dribble a tennis ball opposed to a soccer ball, JoJo? Um, the smaller it is, you get, like, more attention to detail. It's kind of like, um, like in baseball, did you guys, like, ever, like, Swing at ping pong balls. I mean, I'd throw a like ball that. up in the yeah, hallway. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like stuff like that, like just like keep your focus up, or like I don't know, because like the smaller the thing is, like the more like detailed your craft is in a mm -hmm. sense. So, I think that's what they do it for. We sometimes used a broom handle with a bottle cap and would play stick ball with that. Yes, yeah, so it's something like that. Javi Magalas gets that back to Ochoa. He can cross this one, as he does, but nobody there to receive it. But Lo gets in front of it. Hamalama's there. Fighting to keep it. He's got three guys on him, but Stillwater comes out with it. Down to four minutes. Uh-oh. That's Acosta. The freshman. Ooh. Rosinski. Oh. Javi. Dedio's putting the moves on. Feeds that one in. And man. The Tigers had multiple chances getting the Great the soccer ball into Stillwater. the net, but Stillwater able to contain it back. Acosta had the cleanest look in the world. It was served on a silver platter for him to take, but he just took the shot right down the middle. Too easy of a shot, shot selection, and goalie didn't overthink it. He just easily saved that one. Good save by Anderson. And then the ball kind of deflected back, had an opportunity for another shot. Missed that one as well, but Hamelana with the cross. We can get a goal right here. He's going to get the hand up. Send it. It's going to be a simple header to get out of there. He can cross this one back and reset. Tomalana does so. Sends it back, but just easy save right there for Anderson just to bottle it up. He's going to boot that one. Charlie Baker shuts down all that. Yeah, he's just picked the pocket of Stillwater. Quite literally, easily took that one. Two and a half to go here in the first. Games move a little bit more slow now. We haven't seen too much activity in the goal outside of what we had just now, so. Just some back and forth between these balls going on. That's really it.
two minutes. Just giving that one back something, over. Something's got to break at some point. Yeah, I, I There's don't. got to be a missed assignment or something. Didios had a good hour senior right that there. He's going to scoot out. Wow, he's going to keep that one. Oh, no, they're going to call it out. I was going to say that was pretty close. To all soccer fans, not only of BA soccer, but of just soccer in general. Tomorrow will be Bayern Munich versus Arsenal for leg two of the quarterfinals. And then we also have Real Madrid versus Man City tomorrow as well. But as of right now, the bigger news going on, Lakers Pelicans inching towards five minutes to go. And it's 93 to 89 in New Orleans fighting for the seventh seed. And then we got some more stuff to talk about as we've got 6A baseball scores. And the biggest of all, Tigers came out with a big win over Piedmont, 1-0. So congratulations goes out to head coach Shannon Dobson and our Tigers staying in the hunt. Softball won yesterday in a doubleheader. Yeah, they're still undefeated. Was against Berry just... Hill. Still undefeated, correct, are they? Correct. Yeah, they are just insane. I want to see them winning all this year. Good good job picking the pocket right there was was Roberts. Easily took that one. Solid defense. Broken ball, arrow broken taking arrow. on a Wasso in a doubleheader today. We'll try to potentially get you a score for the Lady Tigers in slow pitch. Didios. That was close to a handball right there. Yeah, very close. He could have had the Meg too. Almost went between his feet, but Tigers gonna have to work quickly. Down to ten seconds ten, in the half. Nine, eight, seven, six. Referee five, wanted to kick the ball there. Four, three, two, Last shot. One. Eboss is zero. not even gonna let it go near anything. That will do. The first half of play. We'll have the second half seven, coming up in a little bit. It is scoreless. Zero zero. From Kirkland, Broken Arrow, and Stillwater. Stay with us. Let us take a moment to reorient ourselves. Zoom out to a wider view. Look at the greater whole to see the beauty of this one body that is Broken Arrow Public Schools. And in doing so, may we be encouraged to continue graciously serving each day in the good and important work, reminded that we truly are better together. Thank you. All right, Broken Arrow. It's time to announce this year's District Teacher of the Year. Kyle Cole Rhodes Elementary. Dan Hawk here with AeroVision, and I'm with the Teacher of the Year, Mr. Kyle Cole from Rhodes Elementary. How special is this honor for you today? It is beyond special. It's it's a huge honor. Uh, th this district has – I fell in love with this district when I first started here. They brought me in, and as soon as I got here, I realized I'm not I, – I just can't see myself teaching anywhere else. It showed me love for teaching, but I've met so many people who helped – guide me and you know brought me here today so this was just such an honor and i'm going to work so hard to represent broken Arrow, not just the district, but the the city as well engaging young minds is the key goal as a teacher and as an educator for you you take it a step further by even building the furniture that these children sit on trying to get them engaged to understand education what, what does that all mean to you it means everything is, you know, it's part of me. That's one thing. If somebody comes to my room, I, if any, you know, thing they can say is that I, it reflects my love I have for teaching. It's a part of me, and I want my classroom to be warm and welcoming uh, because that transition every day for those kids, even all year, can be difficult. So having a place that feels doesn't, doesn't necessarily feel like a classroom. It feels like, you know, a place that they can take ownership of and come in and let that guard down, and so we can, you know, you know, teach them and show them that they're loved and teach them those skills. For you, I know that you, the wheels are always spinning as far as what you want to teach your children next. How does it all come together for you as an educator? It's just the kids kind of guide me on that one. It's just every year I wish I could say I could have an exact plan every year, but I really can't. They kind of tell, they tell me what they need to know, uh, whether it's just more life skills, social skills, or the academics. Um, you know, they they construct their own learning, you know, and I'm just, I feel like I'm a facilitator most of the time. I know that you're a teacher from the time that I met you. You're going to put yourself even farther, even with this honor. What's next for you as an educator? I can't go a day without thinking about my classroom. So I 
I feel like that's just the little corner of the universe that I can make some change in and at least have these people that can send them off and they can make even bigger change. So that's my focus and that's what I think about all the time. I try not to take anything too big because they'll take care of that for me. Universe is out there. Have you thought about where you want to take uh, your significant other on this trip? Um, she's she's the boss, so I'm just as long as she lets me go with her, I'll be okay with it. So I'll carry her bags too. So we get we can celebrate wherever we go, and yeah, and I'm, I'm just happy to be alone. Congratulations Thank once you again. So much. comes to training, it's all about pushing boundaries and embracing different styles to elevate your performance. After graduating from Broken Arrow High School, Joshua Farquaad decided to take his wrestling skills abroad, heading to Georgia, just south of Turkey. Little did he know how much this experience would shape his journey back to Broken Arrow. I've gotten to train with them the past couple months and I've progressed a lot. So. Having them come here, be in my home, and kind of get to see where I was wrestling, uh, it just makes me happy. Just as wrestlers strive to reach their peak, that same dedication is evident in the final details of Broken Arrow High School's new wrestling facility. This week has been truly exceptional, with wrestlers from across the globe joining in the excitement. We're hosting a training camp with the Georgia national team. Uh, they're going to wrestle in the Journeyman International Wrestling Tournament in Albany, New York later this week. And uh, they have the opportunity to come train here uh, for the opener of this new facility. Uh, it's just special, you know, not a lot of people get this opportunity, I don't feel like. And so to be able to learn from some of the best in the uh, world is really special. Many miles separate the country of Georgia and Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The Georgia national team made a pit stop here at Broken Arrow High School to check out the new facilities and showcase their style of wrestling. Freestyle in America is getting more and more popular. So when we teach our stuff, it's pretty proud for us. And having them come and teach and uh, show us some of I mean, what they work and matches, um, it helps the Broken Arrow wrestling community kind of move forward in a good direction, I think. Beyond training, the Georgia national team really got a taste of Oklahoma life, checking out the Wrestling Hall of Fame in Stillwater and diving into what makes this state so unique. For us, this is a good experience, and for you also, I see we are happy, and you are happy, and guys, girls everywhere, and we change our things, our techniques, our many, many things. This, this is so, so nice. We're trying to give them, I mean, like a good American experience. For a lot of them, it's their first time in the U.S. I think only two of them have actually been here. When it comes to wrestling, everyone's got their own moves and techniques. But what never changes is the love for the sport and the intense competition that drives us all. Not only do we want to have the best facilities, we want to create the best relationships for our wrestlers to improve, and this is just the first step. We trained, we had a lot of fun, and I, I think I'll come back once again. Yeah. I, I really like here, being here. A new facility, new memories, and the love of wrestling, all set to be pinned down for an exciting future. The timing of it to coming together, uh, with the Georgian uh, wrestlers coming in town and this facility being available is just basically the tip of the iceberg of the things that we want to do and continue to do. Now just knowing that this like side of the whole facility is ours, it's so wonderful. The future holds endless possibilities. At Broken Arrow High School with AeroVision, I'm Dan Hawk. this year's Beyond and Above winner. Please help me welcome to the stage a 
Reese Wallace, behavior coach at the Broken Arrow Freshman Academy. Dan Hawk here with AeroVision. I'm here with beyond and above winner Maurice Wallace. How was this night for you? I know that it was a whirlwind of a night, hearing everybody finding out where you'd stand, yeah. but what does it mean to you to walk away with this? I just It just means a lot, not only to me, but to BAFA. Um, I think uh, there's a, a perception of BAFA out there with a lot of people, and I don't think they understand what we're trying to do for the district, and it starts with BAFA. So I think for me, I think it's, this award means a lot to BAFA, and if we can just continue to put that positive energy out there for BAFA, then we'll, we'll be all right. When I walked through and did the story with you, learning that your smile is contagious, but it's getting across to the kids. Tell me about how important that is as to why you got in the education. Well, every day, one thing I can always say, there's always, we never go through what kids are going through today. Um, what, what kids are going through today, I think that what we have to understand is uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what we're going through. It matters what, what, they're, what they're going through. Um, connecting and engaging with kids every day, impacting kids every day. But I think that um, what thing that we can do as teachers, as educators, as support staff is just to make sure that we, we walk in with a smile on our face every day because that kid needs that smile. These kids today are going through a lot more than what we went through as kids. And I think if I do that and, and love every day and love to come to work every day, it, it's, it's a positive for the kids. The lesson that I learned tonight is it's more than just a teacher. It's yeah. more than the secondary individual helping with a student. Tell me about what that means to you to make that impact on a child. Well, obviously teachers are teaching my kids. I, I think that if, if, if I have that impact with them, then they can take that on to the future. I mean, I've seen, you know, I have Miss Otten in there, who's who I've known since I was in fourth grade. Miss Green, who's, as, who's an assistant principal, she's my science teacher when I was in sixth grade. Obviously, Mr. Rice, who's our principal, uh, Miss Silva, Miss Officer, who hired me. I think those are the those those people right there. As long as we as long as we have those type of people impacting those type of kids every day, they'll be able to come back and do the things that we're doing, not only as teachers but but as support staff. But what does this honor mean to you oh, this evening? This is the top. Uh, I don't think I think a lot of people understand. If, if you know me from whenever I was younger, I think this is where this is where it's at right here. I mean, football is football. Uh, winning winning championships is winning championships. But being recognized in the academic world is is is, uh, is major. We always say in our locker room and the coach's office that we're, we're teachers first before we're coaches. And welcome back to Kirkland Soccer Complex. It is knotted up 0-0 with Stillwater and Broken Arrow. Reminder, the girls won 9-0. Baseball was a winner over Piedmont, 1-0. And on the softball diamond, Broken Arrow improved to 23-0 on the year as they beat Owasso 16-0. That game was supposed to be played at Owasso, but I learned this fact with Larry Smith, the PA announcer, former principal. I forget what middle school he was at here in Broken Arrow. But they they don't play home games at Owasso because their field is too short. So they play a majority of their games on the road. So congratulations to Randall King as well as Coach Dobson for picking up wins on the softball diamond as well as the baseball diamond. But here in soccer country... Stillwater and Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow came into tonight's contest with the Pioneers with a 12 and 1 mark, 5 and 0 in the district. Stillwater 6 and 5, 2 and 2 in the district. The only loss for Broken Arrow came on March 8th. That was against Bishop Kelly in overtime. So they're trying to maintain this perfect district mark record. A game against Bishop Kelly was a non-district game. They're in District 4. Yeah, we got so our district standings go, go BA at first in the district, Stillwater in fourth. JoJo David on the call with me as well. JoJo, what do you got for me? Well, I actually got some nachos for you if you want some nachos. We got Not some... on the call, JoJo. I can't do it on the call. Fair, fair, fair. But outside of the nachos, um, 
we have our starters back out there. That's some interesting stuff to see. They're back out there on the pitch. Um, hopefully, we can see some goals in this upcoming half. I was hoping to see some today. We have not yet to see one yet so far in the boys' match. And if you're a basketball fan, Lakers are up 101 to, uh, to 100. And against the Pelicans. Game. Yep. And now we got some good stuff. As Givens is gonna put some moves on, gets a man down. No PK. That's but fair. it goes back to the Tigers. Pep Pev, Cam Pev gives it to Naranjo. Naranjo just moving it with his feet. And T Time's got it. T Time trying to get in the middle. Cam Pev had a, a fancy move just now, but. Stays with BA. So with 38 minutes, Tigers. Looking to get on the board. Pebworth. Deep shot. Irvine. And that really was Irvine close. correction. If, if Irvine could have just brought that shot. down a little bit. A little high. It yeah, could have been a goal, goal for Broken Arrow. But it instead, it'll be a goal kick. It's a pretty good shot right there for the Tigers. I mean, I feel like it's one of the best looks. Not even the best look. But the best like outcome we've had from a goal shot so far today, um, we've had a lot, a lot, of, a lot of close, close ones that didn't really get where it needed to be, and that one was from a far away, and it still had a pretty good look to it. So I think if the Tigers just keep applying that pressure and get something going, and good, yeah, I was gonna say no good, good no call, but they're gonna call that one on Osborne. It's gonna be a free kick, a little bit, a little bit forward on that, um, a little bit in front of the the mid area. Looks like Coach Unk wants to get in there. Ta ah, Unk. Garland Betts. Coach Betts. Or I believe, is, is his last name Betts or is it Garland? I don't know which one it is, but. Good defensive job right there by Naranjo. Just just hitting the ball. He he he, he knew where the ball was going. You know, um, Stillwater was kind of playing around with the back left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Naranjo read, read it like a book. Got in there, hit it out, and that was a throw in, and now he's going to steal that one. Good job, effort defensively to make something happen offensively. And Irvine's moving with it. Got Morofsky coming down, and Morofsky doesn't get there in time. Or he gets the ball back, yeah. Gets it right back. Tigers in the middle. T time to Naranjo. Naranjo making moves. Barely loses that one. Good job defensively by Stilly. They're just doing so well, and that 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 has been the story of the game. If I, if anything has been, it's been that that defensively, Stillwater has not allowed anything for the Tigers today. It's like their game plan has just been really good today. T Times just gonna reset everything, get it back to Irvine. Five minutes nearly passed in this second half of play. Both teams remain scoreless. Balls in the air, but it's gonna stay to Osborne. And Osborne's got speed. Going to move around with it, get it to, to Givens. Givens, got, he's got space. He can make space. Ball gets back to him, and he barely loses that one. But now it's in Irvine's hands. Feet. Irvine a tee time, tee time. Back to Pebworth. And man, that was a really good chance. Pebworth with a deep shot. Over the fence. That one's going to go across the fence and to the house on the way to Grandma's house. Mustang in Capitol Hill. Mustang leading 3-1 to one at the half. Edmond Santa Fe one nothing over Edmond North. Also at the half, Jinx and Southmore one nothing. Edmond Memorial on top of U.S. Grant one nothing. Bixby on top, Northwest Clawson one nothing in the second half. Moore leading P class and correction more leading Piedmont three to two at the half those are your scores from around the area in 6a now Stillwater's stricken down but good job right there by Osborne making money moves we got a Stillwater player down on the field yeah, Stillwater player on the far side. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, since in St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. We'll take a quick timeout for the injured pioneer. You're watching Tiger Soccer on Arrowvision. 
<laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Your side hustle keeps you moving. And welcome back to Kirkland Soccer Complex. 34 minutes remain in the ball game. Stillwater's got it, and they can, they're on this side, they can make something happen. But CB22 and T time are gonna shut that down from even happening. And Morosky, uh oh. Tigers kicking it to the outside. Givens has got it. Yeah, Givens trying to work back into the middle. It's a Camp Peb. Camp Peb's got control of it. Tigers have a chance. Oh, where's the ball? It goes out to the far corner. Corner kick. Our, my first call in a Tiger game. First goal called was on a corner kick. Will that luck come back to us with this corner kick right here to get this goal in here with the, in the second quarter, second half, should I say, with 32.58 to go? I would hope so, yes. Corner kick opportunity here. Will it bend and will it go to the back of the net? Morofsky's got a good look on there. Naranjo's still on it, too. Feeds it to Givens. Givens with a flat shot, but... Good save right there by Anderson. Givens had a good look, good shot, but... It was straight down the middle. The two defenders on Stilly kind of hit it, kind of messed with um, Anderson's save, but ended up being fine. He, he, he gobbled that one up. Yeah, Anderson has been very effective in the back of the net. Keeping the Tigers at bay. We have at least 20 or so, it seems like, shots on goal in this game. But Anderson has just been boxing out, keeping the Tigers out of the back of the net. Everybody's calling for a corner, but they're going to give that one a goal kick. Dan, do we feel like a, an, um, a golden goal overtime game happening possibly here? We wouldn't want that, obviously. You know, we'd want to prefer to just win it now and not have to deal with all that. But So 31 minutes remain in the contest. So Tigers will look to keep this... Defense effort keeping strong. Good job by Baker getting that one out of there where it needed to be. I do want to give a shout out to our baseball program. This in from this in from Dustin Smith, our executive athletic director. Myers had a no hitter through six and two thirds innings. He gave up a pinch hit single. The only hit. Piedmont had and the one nothing victory for Broken Arrow. So great effort on the uh -oh. bump. It goes to, oh, I'm gonna say offsides as the flag goes up for Broken Arrow. That was promising, promising stuff right there, but sadly the flag goes up right whenever our hopes were high. The flag crushed them. And you know what else might crush you guys? The Lakers are winning 106 104 to the Pelicans with 10 seconds to go. Now 107, 104. Not really surprised by that one. King King LeBron is going to keep the season alive. I'm just going to sigh. Ten minutes have passed. Both teams still scoreless in this one. To kind of reset it for you, Broken Arrow 12 and 1, 5 and 0 in district. Stillwater 6 and 5, 2 and 2 in the district. 
Broken Arrow is a 9-1 and one overall record against 6A teams. They played no 5A teams. Nothing below 6A. And in the last seven days, they've picked up three straight victories. Case Williams has got it. He's taking it all the way himself. Runs into a Tiger player himself. Takes a hit hard. He's on the ground. Gripping the ankle. Case Williams is our shoeless wonder earlier in the game. We, we, we get dedicated two minutes to him and his shoe. And he would probably never hear it. Unless his mom or family is watching and they just choose to show it to him. That would be pretty cool. Coach is giving their input. Smoker nice. saying some words of encouragement. I think that was Smoker. So goal kick opportunity for Stillwater here. Free kick opportunity. Free kick, Tigers that is. Get up in front of it. He's going to take that one. It's Ortega. She's got to get it out. She's got to get it out. That's the story. As they try to, and they do. Morofsky is there. And he's got plenty of green in front of him, JoJo. He's going to take it inside and switch fields and get it to Givens. And this is what the Tigers needed. A shift of momentum. Everything's going towards them. Naranjo passes it and loses it. But it goes back into Osborne's feet. Cabot's got it, but loses it. Barely had it, I should say. That's just going to go all the way to Eboss. How many of these seniors on this team, JoJo, do you have classes with? Um, so, like I said, I only, I only have like an actual, actual class with um, Alex Morofsky. But like Josh and, or not, oh, senior wise, E Boss, I had E Boss in class my sophomore year, English. Um, I know that because he would um, provide me. Oh, that's a good, good pass to Givens. And they're going to say offsides. But I, Evan Boss, I, I know him well in my English class because he used to help me out in class. In case I had amazing assignments, he would help me out and slide me some. Some answers, you know, just being a very honest man. But um, that's Evan. He's a really smart guy. Um, Jack Hendrickson, I have fourth hour student council. He has fourth hour leadership, so we're right by each other. Um, Charlie Baker as well, fourth hour leadership. I have fourth hour student council, so that's how I know those two pretty well. Um, in, um, in Goy, he's during the hour as mine. Hamalama, same thing. So all of them are just like connections through other ones, but Morassi the only one that I actually have like class class with. From this year, at least. Good move on this spinning around Givens. Stillwater as they're moving forward. And Osborne crushes their dreams. But they get it right back. They've got control of it. They can make something happen here. Osborne slipping. See the turf in the air. Cross right there. She's going to go to Baker. Baker's just going to get it out. And of Baker there. cleans it out, goes up to Givens. And Goy. Or Nagoy's correction. To Morofsky. Morofsky getting the man to fall. Putting on his best Jamal Crawford impersonation. But they lose it. T time does a great job. It's going to go out of bounds. That's going to be a throw in for Stillwater. So Stillwater will throw it in. Got a sub coming down Stillwater side though. This is Griffin Conley. He's a captain of this Pioneer squad. We've got a sub coming in. Conley plays forward and he's a senior for the Pioneers. Subbing out Ryan Brassfield right now. Hard put an effort by him on that right wing area. Looks like Case Williams on some ball right here. He does. His feet are ready for it. Unlike last time, he's calling for it, but he won't get it. Griffin shucks it near midfield. Tea time's got it. Just sends that one to Pebworth. Story of the game is that Tigers have had opportunities, just haven't capitalized. And once again, another opportunity is arising 
as Pebworth got it. Pebworth in traffic, though. Like, you've seen this a lot through the course of this game, JoJo, where he kind of dances a little too much in the middle when he's defended by multiple defenders. I'm not forcing all the blame on him, but when he's got multiple defenders, he's had issues tonight. You're 100% right right there, Danny. Couldn't, couldn't have said it, I couldn't have said it any better myself. A lot of just doing too much. And it's not even just him. If it was the whole team so far, he's kind of doing too much with their dribbles, with their passes. Kind of just play the simple ball that we have been playing this whole season. Don't fall back to stuff that isn't working. So if we can just continuously do that, because the opportunities are arising, we're doing great defensively. Megas are having offensively, we're just not capitalizing. So if we can just finish it up with a period, finish up the capitalization, I think we got it in the bag. But with this 24 minutes coming, 24 minutes to go, we got to make something happen. Gots to. Good cross right there. Hendrickson's just going to head it over. And they've still got it with the shot. Could have been a chance at a second hit. With a big time save right there. But Williams has got it. By the way, on that save, he was blocked by his own teammate. Yeah, that's why corners are like the highest percentage of goals that most people get is because so much is crowded in there. Anybody can just slip. You could put a you could put a six year old in that pile. He could probably come out and just and kick it in and they go in there. You know, it's just so crowded and piled. Especially for a goalie to be able to focus on like where the ball is going, it's a lot of hard work to effort on them to see that. So, good stuff by Ebos just getting that one out of there, playing it safe. But they do have another opportunity for a corner kick. As Ortega takes this one. Ooh, good save right there by Camp Pev. Showing off why he has that captain badge on his side. And he's telling his boys, come on now, it's our time. Good job by Tea Time, picking the pockets. He's going to cross it again. Ooh, man. That, that header was just too high as E-Boss was there. But it goes wide. But it goes wide and out, so... Another opportunity for Stillwater is negated with the fact of Broken Arrow's tough defense. That is the striker's biggest dream. Goalie comes out of the box, comes out of the inner box to receive a ball, and they're right there ready for a header. That could have been really bad for the Tigers, but lucky enough, the grace of just luck just cast it upon us. I mean, either luckily just did not get that one in the back of the net. So it's going to stay nil-nil right now. But momentum... I would, I would come out and say there has not been much momentum so far in this game. It has been 50-50 all the way through. Yeah, for, been... a, for a record of 6-5 and five coming in here, Stillwater has held their own and played with the best of them with Broken Arrow. Yeah, and we've got Chen, Chen Li Lo, Hector Ochoa, Javi Magales, Derek Roberts, and Jeremiah Rosinski getting ready to check back in. Good pass right there. Ooh, man. Given to still got it's going to be a corner. But back to you, Dan, what was you saying? Uh, I was just going to add, there's three teams in all of 6A that are undefeated in the district. Westmore, 5-0 and with an 8-3 overall. Mustang, 11-2, and 4-1 and in their district. So minus them, but um, Jinx is the only other undefeated team in district. 5-0, and 8-4 overall. With Broken Arrow. Broken okay. Arrow's only lost to Bishop Kelly, and Tigers nearly snuck one in there. Broken Arrow has nothing back then. Almost whipped it in. And so playoffs, you can't really afford to lose this. I know that you're undefeated in conference, but, you know, with UConn right on your tail, and you did beat UConn, in our last broadcast. Very close game. In man. a very close game that went to overtime. You can't afford to lose this game. 100%. You've got to be able to find a way to get to the back of the net. And you know how soccer goes, it doesn't matter if you get one goal or if you get eight goals. You just need one in the back of the net. Good job on Morosky fighting to keep that one in. Good call by the ref right there. Morosky was clearly, clearly got ran into a wall right there. So. Good job by Ref, clearly calling that one. But 
Yeah, Dan, like you said, I mean, this is a big game. Not only just, I mean, you could you could undermine the fact that this team is not as good as you think they were. But, I mean, we're going into playoffs, man. You just cannot have the mentality that every team is just going to be easy. So right. sometimes this is like a good kind of game to have because it's, it's a bit of a struggle. We didn't expect to, like, be in the situation, this predicament. But just, like, games like this, keep that record going into playoffs. Morassi with the give. Ooh, man. Another missed opportunity for Broken Arrow. Good header right there by Irvine, coming in like a bullet train. But it's going to be another corner kick because luckily, I think it was Diego Ortega who was in the goal on that right post area. His He, 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 had, he had that one out, so Irvine didn't get the opportunity, but Tigers have another chance to get this one in the net. I believe it's Moravsky taking this one. He can give it to... Give it to Naranjo. Yeah, and he's got a good leg. We've seen uh, him do it before. Rossi's going to send that one flat, though. But it goes back in the hands of Broken Arrow. Good give. Oof. Hits Gibbons on the nose, and morosky has got it. Yeah, he picks it right off his nose and... Still maintains possession. Wolf, you got to call Wolf. Now he had a keen sense right there. In the middle. Perfect oh, chance. Goy. What a strike. The African Prince, Josh and Goy, with the strike in the net. He said from the beginning of the day, he said, I'm going to score a goal. And you know he just did? He scored a goal. 1 0 Tigers. Man, oh man. My guy, Josh and Goy. Big time goal for Josh and Goy. Let's take a quick timeout on Aerovision. And we'll have the conclusion of this game. Stay with us. If you and your family have been waiting for the perfect time to jump into your dream home, it's here. We make buying a new home as easy as it is exciting with quick credit approvals and great rates. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. <laughs> Life happens in a hurry. Our money experts will help you keep up. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. So the Tigers get on the board. Dan Hawk alongside JoJo David. They now lead it 1-0 with 822, 1822 rather, left in the contest against Stillwater. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors. First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Since in St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. JoJo, take us back to that goal by Broken Arrow. I mean, from the get-go, the corner, it came back in that area. Givens had control of it. Naranjo kind of had a little bit, gave it to Givens. Givens worked his match with his feet, fed it over to Ngoy, and you would think that where the ball had went, it was offsides or something. But Ngoy was in the right spot at the right time, read the defender well, read his hips, knew when to go specifically at the right time, went at the right time, right in his spot, right in that right under area on that post, and just beautiful work right there. Got it right where it needed to be. Gold Tigers 1-0. Just beautiful stuff. Yeah, Ngoy has just been something special down the stretch. I know he came up with some big moments in that game against UConn, and in this game here was able to find one to the back of the net. So Broken Arrow, around the 18-minute mark, takes the lead, one nothing in a very crucial game as they want to maintain in the final week of the regular season undefeated with Ponca City coming into town on Friday. Ponca City, 3-10, and and they are winless in the district. So if you had to get a gimme loss in there, Ponca City next week, even though I know we're not thinking that, or excuse me, uh, thinking that for this Friday showdown, but this game here, you cannot afford to lose looking ahead to Ponca. Man, speedy Javi McCullis. Fast man himself all the way down the field. And gets tripped up. But Tigers still keep control of it. Never say never, they still got a chance. 1-0 is good. But 2-0 is even better. As yeah. Rosinski's got it. And with the way Stillwater's playing, like, they could come back at you in a hurry. You've got to find a way to get another one to the back of the net. Rosinski making moves. Goes over to low. Like I said, you can't ever capitalize a win on 1-0. Pebworth. Oh. Sheesh. Oh. 
Pebworth just wide by inches from our vantage point. The Tigers could have jumped onto a 2 nothing lead. Good strike right there by Pebworth. I mean, we know he can make those deep shots. We underestimated him last game. We took that crazy volley up in there. Made right. it. He can make it from deep. He is just that talented. I mean, no, you don't just get the captain badge and can't do anything about it. You know what I mean? He, he's proven he deserves that one right there. By the way, he has played these past few games. Good. Once Tigers again, steal it away. I'm just blabbing about him. He just proves my point even more. Great job right there. It's Javi's got it. Sends it back to Osborne. That's, that's CB2-2, two, two. Oh, Mr. Okay. Charlie Baker. And Lowe's got it. <laughs> Endurance is playing a factor right now, and it feels like the Tigers are poised on the pitch right now. 100%. I mean, considering how deep their roster is, and you can put in these guys, you got freshmen coming out here playing like nothing's changed on this roster. It's a beautiful thing to see. It's going to be a feed by Pabworth across the field to Roberts with a good touch. Keeps it in. Roberts trying to sneak in a pass, but Stillwater snuffs it out. Right in front of it is our guy. Excuse me, Graham Candley got in front of that one, but Javi steals it immediately right after. Rosinski has it with a get, pretty solid touch, gets it back to Pebworth, but a little too much on it, so. Gets it stolen by Griffin Canley, their team captain. And, yeah, that's a clear call right there. Yeah, he's down. I think he's going to get back up quickly, though. Yeah, he kind of tried to flop that one a little bit, just get the sell of it. Case Williams kind of, you know, overreacted a little bit. Not so much, but just a kinda little had bit. had a rough night on the pitch. Yeah, losing his shoe, getting called. Oh, this is a pretty good pretty good one right here but JH's header shuts down all of that but under 14 now Jojo like we said I mean 1-0 is confident but you can you can end the game way better with 2-0 he's going through everybody but Roberts keeps it just gonna put it up there and Javi's got it Stillwater's got a man down but he was just clearly flopping he's right back up good gift to Rosinski uh, had the speed to get here, but doesn't. Thirteen and a half to go. Good give. That's gonna he's gonna keep that one in bounds. Some scores for you: three one Mustang Capitol Hill. They're at the half. One one Jinx and Southmore. He's They're in the second half. They're in the second half. 3-2, more on top of Piedmont. They're at the half. Deer Creek, Eisenhower, 1-0. Second half, 2-0. Edmund Memorial over U.S. Grant. 1-1 tie in the second. Bixby and Northwest. Classen. Edmund Santa Fe and Edmund North. 1-0 Edmund Santa Fe. And here, 1-0 Broken Arrow over Stillwater. Yep, Luis John Gitude just subbed out for Stillwater. So they're trying to just get some fresh legs out there. Going into 12 minutes and 30 seconds to play. You got to have all feet on deck, not hands, unless you're a goalie, just to get ready for these next 12 minutes because it's going to be pretty gruesome. You got to try to forcefully get that ball in that net at this point. And Tigers can just start playing either comfortably or forcefully. Comfortably meaning they just play conservative, play it. Strong defensively, kind of just not too much on, on offense or really strong. And Roberts is going to give that one through. He was trying to kick it in to Morosky, but it goes right back to him. And it's going to stay with the Tigers. I think Roberts is going to get called. No, nope, nope, no, he did call. not. That was close, though. T Times got it. Gives it to Javi. Javi's taking it himself. It's going to go to Camp Peb. Peb's going to lose it. Stillwater going on the other end, threatening. It's Condley. T-Time's just going to kick that one out of there, play it safe. Stillwater giving a lot of effort this evening. For a team that's 6-5, and five, he's given Broken Arrow a lot of fits on the pitch. Yep, getting ready to throw, throw, throw this one in. Is it's gonna go back? 
Throw into the Broken Arrow Tigers. So Broken Arrow gets right back. That throwing was unsuccessful for Stillwater. Yep, Corbin Phillips was throwing that one in. Tigers. Other team captain on this team. Right. Javi Magalas has got and it. And his quickness. It's like Addison Castleberry of the girls team. Very similar player builds and style. Those two. Pepper's going to send that one cross the field. Tigers keeping good control of the good ball skills. Gets it to Javi. Javi's got it. They take a deep shot, but too high on that one. Had good luck. Just sent it way too wide. Really good look, but way too high up. And, and now Anderson's just going to try to hurry up and get that ball over to the guy so he can just hurry up and just get it going. We've Fresh legs coming in for Broken Arrow. Bryce Acosta, Hama Lama, and Angel Didio is coming in for Javi Magalas. Trish T time in Camp Peb. Camp Peb getting his well-deserved rest. Mans, I feel like he just never gets any breaks during the games. Always putting in times 10 effort for this team. You know, I know you mentioned it earlier about this just team overall, but there's just so many weapons from the bench to the starters. You know, what Broken Arrow has been able to put together, and you know, and there's, there is a handful or, or, you know, a good amount of upperclassmen, but it's not just the upperclassmen that is going to carry this team to hopefully a state title. 100%. It's really just how the, the the depth of a team is what takes them far, I feel like, in most most times, you know. Um, and honestly, with this Tigers team, freshmen and sophomore guys that are stepping up and playing really good minutes, starting for you, getting these opportunities, I mean, it's a beautiful thing to see. I mean, obviously, people like to talk about, like, you know, they don't have the experience, things of that nature whenever it comes to the big games. But these guys have been battle-tested because they have those seniors and juniors up there holding them accountable. That's a good cross right there. Ebos is out of the goal. And he hit hard coming down. That should be a clear, clear call on that one. I think it was our – I think that was our guy. Case Williams. Case Williams it was, I think, that – Kind of tripped him a little bit, but it's okay. You know, just because it was Case Williams, we'll let it slide. You know, he gave us a good two minutes of of commentary between the two of us. So now, at this eight minute mark, I wouldn't be surprised if Broken Arrow. I know they still want to get another goal, but they might just start play playing keep away. Yeah, it's, it's either one or the other. Play play aggressive or play easy. You know what I mean? It's one or the other. And Hard. when you mean easy, I mean just keep passing it and, yeah, in the and sense keeping of, it away from Stillwater. In the sense of easy, just making sure that you can just stay strong defensively and offensively just bring your guys down and just let them pass it around play keep away, like you said. It's a good take right there. He's keeping it all the way through. Good job by Charlie Baker. Just getting it out of there. As Didios has got it. Kind of didn't keep strong control of it. Getting grabbed, a lot of grabbing and pulling going on. Good effort by the Tigers just to clean it out. But Charlie Baker just sends that out of there. This Case Williams is going to get ready to throw this one in. Or excuse me. Costa came up on the defender. They're going to have Phillips throw it in. Looked like it was a handball a little bit right there by Condley, but I don't think the ref saw him too much. Acosta might get another chance for another goal, as he should have gotten earlier. Rosinski to Hamalama. Hamalama back to Rosinski. Nice passing with one another. They got great chemistry out there so far. Now we're inching. Now less than seven to go. Acosta's keeping control. Good moves. Man, that's a freshman. Ah, I think he should have went wide on his on his goal attempt there because the goalie pulled him in to the far left, and I think he would have had an open lane if he would have went the opposite way. Yeah, either or. It was just, it was just pretty stuff by Acosta right there, man. That stuff, that's when, you know, in a lot of sports they'd be like, he's a freshman, you know, a little chant right there. Sure. That was one right there. And, and Rosinski, very powerful player, knocks over a guy. And Ochoa's over there, cleans up the defensive stuff. Hamalama gets it. Back to him. Just going to give it over to Didios. Gets in. Goodness gracious. It was a high hit by Williams. 
This is not football, brother. You're in the wrong sport. Taking that one in himself. Yeah, that's a good. That's that's good. It's like a 50-50 call. You know, they, oh, Grzynski once again get another call on him, man. Man, Williams playing tough out there for Stillwater. He's got both shoes on his feet. Mario Naranjo getting ready to check in. Down to five and a half. Both coaches chirping at the referees here. Yeah, smoke us all the way up on the field. Oh, they better not give him a yellow. They're just calling for a sub. On hell, Didio's coming out. I think he's trying to just let it Didio's know to come out. Yeah, I think he might be a little bit, little, little um, shooken up, hurt after that um, that play earlier. So just gotta make sure everything's all right with him. He says he's okay. He nodded his head up and down, but good feed right they're there. They're still checking him. Hopefully just, he'll be okay. Just got to get it out of there. Good stuff by the Tigers. That might be it, though, for Didios tonight. So with five to go, Stillwater on the attack. At five flat, Baker just gets it out of there. Good stop by him. But Stilly still has it in that area. We just got to make sure to get out of there. That might be a goal kick. And they're going to say corner. This is where it gets dangerous. Just got to make sure nothing still water bad happens. On the corner kick, trying to tie this one up. Corner kick is up. It's too wide. Way too wide. Ochoa made sure to just get out of there a little bit. Oh, that's not a good spot, but Ochoa just gets it out of there. Swazinski himself. Swazinski all alone. Gets it over to Acosta. Acosta. Might get redemption for that last shot earlier. He's just going to clear that one over to the stand. Oh, into the hands of Cooper Flag. Or Cooper Dollar. I don't, Cooper Flag is a... Number one basketball player in the class of 2024. I don't know why I said flat. Cooper Dollar, excuse me. Roberts is going to throw it in. And that might. Or is and that's going to roll out. Is that a, so that's going to go back to Stillwater. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in the ball game. I do believe in miracles. But I don't know if I could say I believe in a miracle this crazy. Tigers keeping it up with the 1 0 lead. Nice boot. Baker's got it. Not in a good spot either. Just got to make sure to get it out of there. Hendrickson does that. It's collegiate level defense right there as he is going to play collegiate level soccer. And NSU. Some stories just write themselves. Rosinski's got it. Being very <laughs> aggressive. Just defender. a big guy, man. Did he play football at all? No, he he he's um he was born in Ukraine, so like that's that was his uh, originality. He came here like a while ago, not too long ago. Naranjo, ah, uh, had it but lost it to Rosinski. To Acosta, fans are getting getting invested into this game as we get towards two minutes forty seconds. Tigers have a Some chance. Back and forth stuff. Goes to Roberts. Roberts took a lot on the shin right there. That's why they got shin guards, thank goodness. He's going to reset, take his time. Williams on the far end. Good job by Hendrickson. Perfect stuff. Nice defense by Broken Arrow. I mean, yes, it's a corner, but I mean, at the same time, that could have been way worse. Henderson just read the hips well, stayed right on his hip right there, kind of read like a DB on a wide receiver in a sense. Stayed on the hips, put his foot out there. He said, no, sir, exclamation mark. And a lot of time is coming off the clock as Stillwater resets, about 15, 20 seconds. Clock's still ticking, and they're still setting up here in the corner. I think this is their opportunity right here. It's got to be goal or no goal -less. Ortega's going to take it, send it. Ooh, that, that could have been out. something. 
I think that so, was Brody it, Long. One, so a throw in for Stillwater. Or nope, goal kick. Sorry. Yeah, they were just trying to get a set for E-Boss. He was just going to pick it up and do it himself. They said he, 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 uh, they were trying to do it for him. He was like, I got it. I'm an independent man. I could do it myself. I need Josh help. Kind of thing he was saying right there. And E-Boss sends it way across midfield. Ball roll into the far corner. It's just Rosinski. Ukraine miracle. That's going to go to Baker. Baker Under a minute it. now, JoJo. Clamp down on defense and just kick the ball the other way. It would be beautiful to see a goal right here that would not be mad. Ooh, good give. Acosta is there. Down 42 40. seconds. And, then, you know, at this point you can just kind of just baby around. Just, yep, and that should be a call. That should be. Take your time, though. And he will take his time. 27 seconds. No need to rush. He's got all the time in the world. 24 seconds. Just gonna, you know, check, make sure the socks are all good. Make sure the shin guards. Check the shoelaces just in case. Yeah, that was not a good move by Stillwater. Just play it safe. And the Ron has got it. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Ball goes out it's of bounds. Be corner. And that will probably do it. That is gonna do it. That will be the ball game. Broken Arrow improves to 6-0 and in district. They have a 13-1 and mark with a 1-0 final. The Lady Tigers 9-0 and victory against Stillwater as well. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Since and St. John, Tulsa Bone & Joy, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Then over to Tiger Threads. Visit Tiger Threads at 2200 North 23rd Street, Suit 161, for all the Vanguard needed. Located at the northeast corner of the new event center in the south end zone of Tiger Stadium. Open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. with additional discounts for BAPS staff. And, you know, shout out to Mr. Hurling, Alex Tyner, our stream directors, Greg Spencer, our director of Aerovision, Blake Shy, producer and engineer, and also our history man over here. Shout out to Mr. Hadley over here helping us with the scoreboard. Um, shout out to Dan Hawk with a hurt voice being out here supporting the Tigers, making the call. And then special thank you to all the students who are out here to help us stream this game. Yeah, well, once again, final one nothing for Broken Arrow boys against Stillwater. Nine nothing victory for Broken Arrow Lady Tigers in softball. Sixteen nothing victory over Owasso and a one nothing victory for the Broken Arrow boys baseball team. So until next time, I'm Dan Hawk, JoJo David, signing off. Go Tigers.